What's up? Why is it chatting on the screen, dude? What did I just do? That's super weird. I don't know what's happening right now. Are you serious? Okay, well that's weird. <sighs> Hold on, my computer program is being dumb. And I don't know what I did. It's decided the window is a different shape than it is. Cool, that's really useful considering I'm already live and can't do anything about it. Oh my god, this program is the worst. Okay, well, we'll put this one up. I think I can look at the chat here. Yep. Weird. I don't know what happened. I guess. We'll deal with it. What's up, y'all? Hopefully it looks okay on your end. Ooh, hold on. I found it. I found it. Okay. Let's fix it back the way we had it before. Yes, good. What is up? Oregon Critter, Kevin, Hines, David, True Seeker from BC, what's up? How are things? How are you all? <sighs> Sloppy dogs, my man. I gotta move this camera over slightly. Get ready for a little bit of uh a little bit of vertigo. It's just right in front of the chat. And I don't want it to be. <sighs> okay, there we go. There we go. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I got my streaming fuel here. So we are ready to stream. Uh, fun fact, I tried to put my contacts in for you guys. Because as you can see, there's a little glare from my lights. But we made like a Mexican chili for dinner. And I uh, must have still had jalapeno on my hands, even though I washed them twice. So trying to put my contacts in was a brutal ordeal. And uh, I finally gave up and put my glasses back on. So sorry about the glare. Deal with it. I almost lost my vision. For you. I did that for all of you. What's up, y'all? People streaming in all over the place. Idaho, East Coast Canada, New Zealand. Wow, what time is it in New Zealand, Jim? What's up, Floyd Ball? Mr. Puff Puff, we don't usually bust him out on the stream till, till later. Uh, I didn't. I used to not smoke on stream at all because I got demonetized one time for saying the word cigar, and so I just was always wary of it. And I just don't always, I just don't smoke on stream every time. But sometimes I do. Got yourself a DRZ, awesome, David. What's up, Bridge? Br Bridge? Brick? Bridge? BK? Pittsburgh, Nebraska. Oklahoma? Man, we are all over the place. Look at that. Maryland, we got East Coast up in here. Colorado. What's up, Nar neighbor Daryl's here, y'all? Thank God, because I only have three beers, so if I run out, fortunately, neighbor Daryl is nearby. I also have this whole bottle of Elijah Craig that I got. Nope, it's over here. This bottle. No, it's so hard to point like this. This bottle of Elijah Craig, because I, um... I posted about giving away some tires, and uh, Dana, who was in Junction City, came by and picked him up, and he brought me this bottle as a thank you. And, guess what else he brought me? Four o'clock tomorrow, Jim? Wow. You're in the future. I don't, can I reach it? Oh, I can. Check this out, you guys. Check this out. Can you read that? It says, Drunk Hunt. This is a flask. It come, It's a flask. You put booze in there. Is that cool or what? Anyway, Dana gave me that, and all it cost me was the freaking tires I was giving away. Anyway, well, I mean, I have a lot of I have a lot of bourbon behind me, BC, so I'm good. But that's pretty neat, drunk hunt. So thanks for that, Dana. I don't know if he's in here. He said he might come by, but uh, he got some track masters today, and I got some Elijah Craig. So I think I made out. It's over here. I, I think I, I came out ahead on that deal. Nah, this is just the regular, just the regular small batch. I have actually a bottle of single barrel Elijah Craig that I have, I, just, I haven't drank from it much because I just kind of want to save it, but I got it by mistake. I ordered the small batch from, um, from Flaviar when I was doing Flaviar and somebody, they screwed up and sent me the, the single barrel, so I was not sad. Cost like twice as much. Oh. New Belgium Honey Orange Triple. Nice. Just Coors Light, man. This is the only thing I can drink all night and 
not regret it tomorrow. What's up, Soils? Got multiple people from Bethesda. Cold, miserable Ohio. Do you guys like my decor? For, like decorated for the giveaway. Do you like that? It's actually the setup I put together for when I filmed the Giant Loop Armadillo Bag video in here. But uh, big shout out and thank you to our friends at Giant Loop for sponsoring the giveaway tonight. So at some point tonight, we are giving away... Hey, there's Dana. 3 Skippy 3 is Dana. Everyone cheers to Dana for bringing me booze. Cheers, Dana. But tonight we are giving away this, a one gallon Giant Loop Armadillo bag. And the cool thing about this bag is it's useful on all, for all your power sports needs. And this is the new and improved version, uh, which comes with a four spout included. Yeah, dude. Check it. And a pouch. So they took a lot of feedback from the original gas bag design, lowered the price, made it a better product, and they came out with the armadillo bag. So uh, we're giving one of these away tonight. And all you have to do is be here to win, but um, I'm going to disappoint my Canadian friends by telling you that you have to be inside the United States of America to win because shipping purposes. So I apologize uh, for that inconvenience, but hopefully those of you in Canada, New Zealand, and Australia uh, can just be excited for the people who can win instead of being sad that you can't enter this particular giveaway. I'm also going to give away tonight... This is a little bit more niche, so I, this is why I didn't advertise it, but uh, I have this. So this is the new quad lock fork stem mount. This is their pro mount. So their other mounts are plastic. The pro mounts are, this is aluminum. And uh, they sent me the fork mount by mistake and I don't, I don't have a fork stem. So uh, this is more for a sport bike. So if anybody here has um, a sport bike that you might get some use out of this, this fork stem mount, uh, I'm gonna give this away later, randomly. Um, and I'll, I'll just ship this to you because they sent it to me by mistake. Your name here, got a DRZ400. What bags do you recommend? Well, I always recommend giant loop bags, but for what? Tank bag, tail bag, you want to go camping? What do you want to do, your name here? And if you don't want to spend, and the giant loop bags cost a little more. So if you're not sure, you're just getting started, the tusk bags are pretty good as an entry level thing. But if you want to get something that's going to last you forever and um, is super lightweight, sturdy, can't go wrong with Giant Loop. I have a Giant Loop discount code. I don't have a Tusk discount code. Slim down. I am in Oregon, man. Yep, I've got some traverses there. Not bad. Gotta check your ball bags. What's up, Melio? Thanks for being a channel member. See these people, all the cool people with green names, those are channel members. They get early access to videos, so there are four videos right now in early access. Four. Two weeks worth of videos, I just finished the last one today, that, uh, that are up and available that you could have watched if you were a channel member or a patron right now. So, just saying, that's a benefit of being a channel member or a patron. You get stuff as soon as I finish it. I finished two videos today. Yeah, sorry, Byron. I'm not shipping it. It's shipping directly from the manufacturer, so I don't have any control over letting people pay shipping or not paying shipping. So, this is the stipulation of the giveaway for this particular product at this particular time. I don't physically have the product in my hand. They will directly ship it. Yeah, look at that, 100. Crazy. Remember remember when it was my dream to someday hit 100? Thank you, Anna. On a live stream? Crazy, right? Crazy. Uh, I don't use beard, beard wax, rethink. I like the Maestro's Beard Butter a lot. Uh, Brian, I don't know that the suspension on any Chinese bike is going to be great for someone with a bad back, but I guess if you just stand up a lot. Awesome soils, I'll be there. I'm presenting again. So, if, if you guys aren't going, if you, one, if you haven't signed up for the Giant Loop Ride, it's almost full. Like, seriously, going to fill up in the next week or two is my guess. So, sign up if you haven't. Excuse me, I'll be there. We can shake hands and maybe I'll give you a sticker if I have any. Uh, 
Yeah, sorry, Jeff. There's no it don't, the integration doesn't work the other way, but um, I still love and appreciate you as a patron. That's all I'm saying. Um, and then Turretech, I'll be at Turretech. I'm actually presenting at Turretech. I don't know what yet, but so I'll be there too. Um, and those are two weeks apart in June. No, there's two weeks between them. They're three weeks apart. And I don't know if I've told you guys this. I don't think I have. But as of right now, I'm 90% sure I'll be at the PNW Dual Sports Summer Opener. Um, not because they invited me, you know, I wish they would, but uh, because of a company that I work with is probably going to be there, and that's probably all I can say. So um, until I know, but I will, but I will probably be at the Summer Opener as well in Washington. Heinz, I just did three new mods to the KLR. Windscreen risers, I did a center stand, and I did a uh, uh, throttle lock. That video comes out on Wednesday. And then I went and rode the KLR, so there's two more videos on that coming the following week. But the first video, Monday's video, is uh, us working on the XT225. Which Lil has not ridden yet, because she doesn't want to ride it in the street. <clears throat> Thanks, Dan. Never know if people are actually here, if they're just watching videos and subscribing. The, the program doesn't know the difference, so... I always gotta thank people. I'm always appreciative. Uh, where's what located, Truth Seeker? Turatech is in Plain, Washington. Giant Loop Ride is in Burns, Oregon. And uh, the summer opener is in Washington, but I don't remember where. I think the DCT is a great option for people that want or need it. I personally don't want it. But, uh, you know, if you if there's... If for some reason you can't drive a bike that shifts, or you just don't want to, they're supposed to be really good, like, and fun. I'd like to ride one, I just don't think I'd want to own one. You guys like my sweatshirt? I got this uh, random dude in the, uh, in one of the, K the KLR groups I'm in, was selling them on Teespring, so I bought it. Thanks, Killer Spud, I was pretty butthurt for a whole month. Yeah, Giant Loop is in Burns, Oregon. It's in East Central Oregon. Thinking about getting a KLR maybe tomorrow. Well, uh, five eight. I, my only my big suggestion is you to you is go sit on it and make sure you're comfortable with the seat height. It's not unmanageable, but uh, just make sure that you're comfortable and confident. Rethink. From what I've heard, this end of the tat sucks. So I had thought about maybe riding part of it from Oregon. But uh, uh, not anytime soon. It's so funny. And I love you guys. And I love your faith in me. Because literally three months ago was the first time I ever went on a multi-night camping trip. And you guys are like, right across the country. Like, let me do a BDR or something first. Rick, you wore your puff-up shirt? Rad. Let's do it, Daryl. Let's get out and ride. I went out and rode yesterday, man. We could just go put around up at... Uh, Actually, I gotta test out the DRZ. I got new tires on it, so pff, gotta get that test and gotta go. Jeffrey, there should be a button right below the video, and if not below this video, then go watch another one of my videos, and it'll say Randall Washington. That's it. It'll say um, there's a join. It literally says join, like a big red join button next to the subscribe button. Yeah, Justin, Tim, that's the guy, Justin. And I put a link to this in. I wear this in Wednesday's video. There's a link to it in Wednesday's video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry guys. I always feel so bad when I can't keep up with the with the chat. It's just so crazy these day, these days. So if I don't respond to your comment, it's not because I hate you. It's because I missed it or I just can't do them all. I've actually toyed with doing um like a like a member slash patrons only chat once a month or uh, live stream once a month. What do you guys think about that? Should we do that? That would definitely be easier to in answer everyone's individual question. I wouldn't stop doing this one, but as an extra one. Melio, there's a, it's in my Teespring, on my Teespring. Should be a link in the description. What's up, Karen? I got no mods in here right now. Uh, Skippy, I've only done Route 6, and it was uh, over half... Not half. It was about a third in... 
we couldn't do about a third of it because of the fire, so we found a way to work our way around. I made a video. I made three videos on it. You should check them out. They're actually some of the best stuff I've done, I think, as far as camping riding videos. <clears throat> Thanks, Critter. I didn't ignore it. I missed it. It's not the same thing. Cheers to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Mob City's here. Just drinking the Curse Lights, man. You know how it is. You know how it is. Oh, man. Three months long, damn. So, uh, I would be remiss, especially because Dan's here. So if you guys have questions or thoughts, to not talk a little bit about these, about what we're giving away. So, um, if you don't know what this is, this is an armadillo bag. This is a, what am I supposed to call it? Um, it's a liquid power reservoir that, you know what, I'm not wearing my Giant Loop hat right now, so let me just officially say, I'm not working for Giant Loop at this moment, and I'm not representing Giant Loop at this moment, before I say, you put gas in this. This is for putting gas in. So, I personally, and no shit, yes I work for them, but not kidding you, I think this is the best option for taking extra fuel with you on your bike. I would much rather have this than, an ex than a bigger fuel tank because I don't want my bike to be bigger and heavier all the time just when I need the extra gas. And when I'm done with this, I just roll this up. It's taking a saddlebag. It's not in my way anymore. So I like these a lot. This is Cordura with a inner TPU bladder that is... All in. Oh, Daryl's outside. They're individually pressure tested at the factory. And it's a great product. And they're only $100 for a one gallon now. And I'm going to give one away at some point tonight. I'm assuming... Daryl! I bet he just left something. He won't come in. I've tried every damn time to get him to come in. Uh, anyway. Gas bags are rad. And first, the first comment you're going to ask if you go to the website, you're going to say, This says I can't put gas in it. That's not what it says. It says... It's not an approved fuel container according to the agencies that rate fuel containers. Let me tell you why. Because all of their testing protocols are designed for rigid containers. They don't work for flexible containers. That's the only reason it's not approved. I'll tell you what else is, what else is not approved. Your Clark tanks are not approved. That's not an approved fuel container. They're not approved for on-road use. Those, WP, those uh, JP Racing jugs everyone else uses, not approved fuel containers. So they're as good, they're as approved as the things that you see people using all the time. Put gas in the damn thing. That's all I'm saying. So this is like my, for instance, no shit, my plan is to take the DRZ to the Giant Loop ride this year. That's big country. You need a lot of fuel or at least a lot of range. And I'm just going to take it, I'm just going to strap a two gallon bag to my DRZ and I'll be good. So I don't have to do anything else to it to be able to do all that big country out there. I gotta go see what's on the ground outside. I'll be right back. Stream, I got randos leaving whiskey on the ground outside. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Daryl, I can't just be like doing whiskey shots right now. Oh, I'll, I won't be able to. Uh, won't be able to make it through the stream. Oh, I just got a referral on Mo on Moto Camp Nerd. Holy crap! Someone just bought a bunch of stuff. Good job, y'all. Keep that, keep the, the fundage flowing for Ben. Oh, <sighs> my wife is scared by the banging noise. She was like, what's happening? Uh, they have four sizes. So the one I have here is a one. And then you see behind me a two, a three, and a five. Oh. <sighs> Oh, 
Hold on, my kid is texting me. Uh. Okay. Yeah, meter the shots and beers, right. And when I wake up tomorrow and have to package 25 things because I did so many giveaways because I got drunk, you're going to come over and help me? Dorkosaurus? That's the best name I've ever seen. Awesome, Daniel. Uh, it's a percentage on Modal Camp Nerd, Jeff. Percentage. Modal Camp Nerd's rad. Yeah. Help this guy make his dream come true. He's opening a storefront so that he can get more gear for us. He actually is like paying to have a store and, and run it and everything so that he can get gear from more companies. So promote that guy. 50 giveaways. I'd have to hire someone. At some point I may hire my kid to, uh, to package stuff for me. Awesome, Daniel. That probably was, if you just did it. <clears throat> How do you know my beer's almost empty? Mm. See, the thing about tall cans, of course, light is, they seem to go just as fast as regular cans. Coffee and cup, awesome. Tips for dispersed camping? Uh, there's a shitload of it. My favorite, I mean, the best way to find good dispersed camping spots is... Just go ride the area you want to camp in and go down every single side road that you see. I not I don't know if I'd necessarily do that on the day I was going camping, but like go scout the area. Because the best camping sites are always at the end of the random ass spur roads. Uh, that's how I found all the ones I like the most. So go go scout and uh, and find a good spot. Yeah, Byron, I hope you like it. Thank you, this is Gil. Cheers, this is Gil. You got yourself a Tillamook and a tank bag? Nice. Nah, Melio, I ain't giving that away. That was a gift to me. That was a gift from, uh, from Dana. Yeah, and the Moto Camp Nerd is one dude and his wife, so, like, he can help you. It's not some big-ass corporation, you know? It's one dude living his dream. Finding a finding a location is exactly yeah part of the adventure. The other thing you can do is just ask people that camp in the area. Sometimes people will share good spots with you, but kind of rare. Blitz, are you making YouTube videos? Uh, Garrick, I can ride. In, so we have two. I live in the Willamette Valley, which is between two mountain ranges. So the coast range, it almost never snows. You can ride the coast range all year. That's usually, um, it's a place I go to a lot. And then uh, the Cascades, yeah, it gets pretty snowy. But um, not in the foothills where I ride most of the time. So uh, for most of the time, I am I always have a place to go that's not covered in snow. I just have to be okay with getting cold and wet. Jeffro the smart. Smart. Lil has not ridden her XT yet. She has ridden several other motorcycles, but she won't ride it in the street, and uh, we haven't gotten out to the woods yet. Still working on... Like, it, you guys don't know this because you haven't seen the video yet, but it didn't have an air filter when I got in there to start doing work on it, so we couldn't ride it till all that stuff came in. Um, and then we replaced it. So now it's pretty good to go, and now I'm just going through, like, lubing the cables and stuff like that. At some point, we're going to put the... The D Sports they sent me on it because the tires on there are eight years old, so they probably need to go. Uh, nice enough. Thanks, Tacoma. Thanks, Tacoma. Cheers to Tacoma. Appreciate that. Keeping me afloat. Y'all are, are putting food in my daughter's mouth. Daryl, Daryl, what kind of whiskey is this? Is it Pendleton again? Hmm. 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 Okay, well, there's 140 people in here, so 
Tell you what, let's give away the quad lock now, the mount now, before I forget. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I have the quad lock, so I need to be very clear with all of you, okay? This is a quad lock fork stem mount pro. One, they gave this to me. They sent me the wrong thing, so they said I could give it away. So shout out to quad lock, love quad lock. Um, I have a vibration dampener that I will throw in for you. So you'll have this and the vibration dampener. But two conditions if you win, okay? One, you have to have a bike that can use a fork stem mount. So that's probably a sport bike. And two, you have to go buy the quad lock case for yourself, for your phone, okay? It doesn't work without the case. So the case has this little notch on the back. You see that? And it, that's what locks into the mount. So um, it's one of those presents that costs you money. So don't enter unless you're prepared to spend the money to be able to use it, okay? I just want to be super clear. I don't want you to email and be like, what the hell, dickhead, I can't use this. I'm telling you right now, if you don't go buy a f the quad lock case for your phone, you will not be able to use this price, okay? But this is an expensive mount. The vibration damper costs money too. So it's still a nice price. Just know that you got to do another thing to be able to use it, okay? Are we all clear? Does that make sense? Does anyone not understand the conditions... See, as a teacher, you don't say, does everyone understand? Because I just go, mm-hmm. You have to say something like, does anyone not understand? And then someone can say, I don't understand. So, you have to have, a, you have to be able, and I'm going to trust you to know whether or not you can use a fork stem mount. I know that I can't. So, yeah. Uh, but this and a vibration dampener, I will ship it to you via USPS. So that's the other thing, is since I'm shipping it, uh, US only on this one. Sorry, guys. Love you all. No offense. This is the pro mount. This is the metal, the upgraded. They just came out with these. Like literally they announced them like a week ago. So they're badass. But I can't use it. So I'm giving it away. Okay, Mob City Moto says it's clear. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna start the entries. But do not enter if you are not ready to buy your, your own case and have a bike that can use a fork stem mount. Okay, here we go. A bunch of you are going to enter anyway. It's going to be silly. I'm going to make you email me something special and specific. Okay, it's going to say sticker pack, but it's not for a sticker pack. Thanks, Floyd. I don't believe it can be used on the KLR Digital Tango. That is why I asked for the other one. Okay, that says sticker pack, but it's for the quad lock. Don't enter unless you will buy a case and can use a fork stem mount. Mm. I'm going to put this down so I'm not sipping it like beer. So to enter, to win, the mount, exclamation point enter. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to grab that the vibration dampener right now so I don't forget to include it. Duckburg. Yeah, you can't use it on the KLR. Nor the DRZ, nor the XT. Fork stem is covered by the handlebars. So you'll also get this. You'll get the handlebar mount, or the vibration dampener, not the handlebar mount. I'll send both of those. I try to pass it on when I can. You guys are the only reason companies send me stuff. So I try to share stuff with you guys when I can. <sighs> as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to stop entries very soon. So this is to win the fork stem mount. You have to buy a case and uh, you have to have a bike that can use a fork stem mount. Okay, I'm going to stop the entries. Closing entries. Okay, I'm going to draw a winner. Uh, so when you win, you have to email me and you have to tell me that you're willing to buy the case or else I will email you back to verify that you're willing to buy a case before you can use it. Okay, willing to buy the case. Okay, the winner is Icarus1776. So you got to email me at dork at dorkintheroad.com with your physical address so I can mail this to you. I need your physical address. And just tell me, Icarus, that I understand I have to buy a case to use this. Say that in your email. And then I'll know we're good to go. If for some reason Icarus can't use it, we'll give it away next next month. Okay. Congrats, Icarus.
Now I'll do a sticker giveaway that anyone can enter. Two wheels, one dork. There's so many dorky names in here tonight. We're kicking ass right now. Hold on, let's see if Icarus agrees to buy a case. Yeah, otherwise you're flying too close to the sun, bud. Turd burglar. Thanks, my Dunn. This is a gift from my best friend since we were 10 years old. Who watches the channel sometimes. He doesn't watch the streams, I don't think. Yeah, Riley, I would buy that tomorrow. Tons of bees. High school. Uh, my favorite bike at the AIM show? There were almost no bikes at the AIM show, so the Triumph 1200 was my favorite. Though if they had a 900, that would have been my favorite. <clears throat> Icarus, Icarus, dude, are you willing to buy a case? If you don't want to buy a case, tell me and I'll draw another name. No, no, no harm done. And then I'll give away some stickers. We'll do it. We're just waiting for Icarus, man. That's all. No pressure. Just holding up the whole stream. 150? Good lord. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Remember when I used to do like a bunch of shenanigans, like... I would do, like, Chewbacca noises and make up stupid jokes and, like, and, like, that was fine, but now I just sit here, drink beer, and talk, and way more people come. Who knows? Ugh. Killed the demos at the show. Good tips for the Turtetech rally? Uh, I really was happy to be sleeping in my trailer. I'll tell you that. But, uh, plane is an interesting little city uh the supposedly there's a really good buff here's a good tip i didn't actually go but this is from beards uh there's a really good buffet at breakfast buffet at the little restaurant across the street from the rally uh that's a good tip <sighs> should hit that up all right i don't know what happened to uh i don't know what happened to icarus but let's assume he wants a case Chewbacca noises. Alright, here's some stickers. Let's do stickers. Okay, anyone can win this internationally or no? Exclamation point, enter to win. And the sticker packs are like beefy right now. I've got a bunch of, uh, got a bunch of Giant Loop stickers. I've got Veterans Back 40 stickers. I've got, there he is. Icarus, are you cool with buying a case? Um, I've got McLovin stickers. I've got Bridge Bikes and Camping stickers. I've got Moto Camp Nerd stickers. I have For the Love of Knob stickers. All of these go in your packs. You're getting like eight stickers if you win. Plus a spam card from me. The Dork in the Road. And I might even write on your envelope. Probably not. I'll probably print this print the labels because my handwriting is real bad. Real bad. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so even if you've won sticker packs before, there's stuff in there that you don't have. Because these McLovin stickers, I've never had before. Um, and they're new Motocamp Nerd stickers. They're non-reflective. So if you have a reflective one, you don't have this one. Stuff like that. I like it, Dorkosaurus. Jim Beam with the beer back. Yeah, I think you have to just type exclamation enter. No, Frosty. Anyone can enter the... Stickers are for everybody, man. Fix Wheel Play, thank you for that. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Well, the only thing that would keep you from winning the giant drawing is if you're outside the United States of America. Sorry, Icarus. If you responded, I missed it. Because it's, like, going crazy right now. I trust you, man. I trust you. Oh, here's a pro tip for the Tour Tech Rally. Plain Grocery, the place with the gas right across the street, has a meat vending machine. No shit. It's the damnedest, coolest thing I've ever seen. So go to the meat vending machine and buy some meat. That's my tip. And Taiyi Lookout is amazing. But the ride up there is intermediate level, so... Oh, here's another pro tip for the Tour Tech Rally. The rankings are, the ratings are very conservative. So I was writing advanced stuff, and I don't consider myself an advanced writer. 
So um, even the hard stuff is okay if you're at least a competent writer. You can push it a little, I think, is, is the pro tip I would give you, based on their ratings of the routes. You can always turn around, but... <sighs> Just FYI. Also, go to the dork in the road presentation. That's a big pro tip for Turotech, because I heard that guy's awesome. And sometimes it gives away free shit. Yeah, meat, like snack meat, like pepperoni and cheese, stuff like that. It's awesome. It's awesome. Full throttle junkie. Thank you for that donation. Thank you. Cheers to you, my friend. All right, I'm about to uh, enter. I'm about to end this giveaway. Let's see who wins. The winner of the first sticker pack of the evening is... Tenny! Tenny, you've never gotten any stickers before, man. Never gotten it before. Yeah, dude. Nailed it. Get some new stickers. All right, Tenny's the winner. Congrats, Tenny. Cheers to Tenny. I better get a beer before I drink this whole whiskey. Mmm. Ah. Yeah, I'm almost making as much as I would if I were stripping. I'm making more than I would in ones, but I'm pretty good at private dances, so I make more. Can't have too many, Tenny. Oh! In the can! Mm, 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 mm. Hey, I got another beer. Um, more stickers? Okay, fuck it. I mean, poop it. I'm a lot better at not cussing when I'm editing myself. Here, enter a giveaway while I'm getting a beer. Entertain yourself. To see how, how truly devoted everyone is. Oh, how's the entering going? Good? 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 Good. Good. It is hard to have a conversation when we're doing this, so. Maybe I should turn off the confirmation from the bot. That would cut half the spam. So the bot is sometimes behind. If you don't see it confirmed that you entered, you probably did. It just doesn't always get it. Um, because there are 74 people who have entered right now. I always sing when I pee when I'm drinking. Yeah. Can you hear me through the door? That's awesome. Icarus, you're not holding things up, man. I was just messing around. Just messing around. Uh, I used to have a garage fridge and then I took it to school. And then I left it there when I quit. But I have one upstairs in my office. I just don't drink out here except one day a month and I drink soda upstairs all the time. So, Honestly, I had thought about putting them out here in a cooler. I'm going to tell you a secret. I also go pee when I go in there. so That's why I leave them in the house. Never ridden one chaotic. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I have mixed opinions about Chinese bikes. They're mostly, in my opinion, disposable. And if you're okay with that, if you know what you're getting yourself into, then they can be a good value. All right, we're gonna we're gonna draw a winner. We got 84 of you entered here. Closing entries, and the winner is Delta Bravo. So Delta Bravo, you have to email me dork at dorkintheroad.com with your physical address. I need to know where to mail a letter full of stickers. So uh, dork at dorkintheroad.com. I bought that domain and set that up so it would be easier for you guys to remember. Because remember my old one is a dork in the road appears at gmail.com? <laughs> that was really hard for everyone to remember. So dork at dorkintheroad.com. Email me with your address and I will send you some stickers. I usually do it on Sunday, but you know, within a week. Within a week. 
I like the little Benelli, the TNT. Is that the, the 130? The little Gromish bike? That's kind of neat. Nah, junkie. I can't. I can do. I can. I can power wheelie the DRZ, but I'm not any good at clutch ups, and I'm not gonna try it on a bike that heavy. That's not my speed, man. I'm slow. I'm riding to look at stuff, you know. I like to just see what's around me, experience the universe, as it were. As it were. I like to give away stickers, you know. People, uh, people just not get that excited about the stickers. Never ridden a Super Tenere, Tenere, Tenere. Benelli and SSR were the same booth at the um, at AIM, so my guess is yes, they're the same company. What up, Critter? What up, Critter? The Critter is here. Okay, so if you like Critter, awesome, Kevin. You're welcome. Enjoy that. Uh, if you like Critter, have a YouTube channel that you want people to go check out. There's 163 people in here right now. Why don't you say sub to me, or I have a YouTube channel, or uh, check out my channel. Say something. Shout yourself out. I don't get all butthurt about that like some people do. Let's spread the love, share the love, and uh, show everyone. You know, it, if you make content, people should know about it. I think the 500X is a great bike, especially now that they've upgraded the front wheel to 19 inches. I have ridden the KLX 300. There's a video on the channel. I only rode the Supermoto. I have not ridden the uh, the Dual Sport version. Uh, Icarus, can you not use it? Or are you unwilling to buy a case? I'm not mad at you. I just want to know so we can give it to somebody else. If you can't use it, tell me and I'll give it to someone else. And uh, if you can, it's yours. Yes, I'm watching Boba Fett. I can't say anything about it without a bunch of spoilers, but let's just say the episodes with not much Boba Fett have been the best ones. <sighs> Tiffany's here. Uh, Moto Camp Nerd, you were asking me about Ryan from Giant Loop. Tiffany's doing some of his work for them. So, Tiffany, Ben, Ben, Tiffany. Tiffany, uh, the feminine tomboy. Oh, Soils, I've never overcome my stupidity, and look at me. Awesome cow dog, welcome. Fix build play. I'm not throwing out spoilers, I'm just saying it's not much of a spoiler to say he hasn't been in the last two episodes as much. Let's just say that, even though the show is named after him. Which is appropriate, considering he had, what... Four lines and about seven minutes of screen time in the original trilogy. <sighs> okay, Icarus. So uh, Icarus has graciously offered to put the uh, the mount back into the pool so we can give it away again. So are you guys cool with me running that giveaway again? Uh, understanding that if you can't use a fork stem mount, please don't enter. And if you're unwilling to buy your own mount or your own case, please don't enter. Okay? We good? Does anyone not understand? The delay makes this really hard, but... Okay, this is gonna say... Hold on, let me complete this. Thanks, Delta Bravo. Uh, it's gonna say... Sticker pack, but it's not a sticker pack. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, Jamie. We're giving away... This is for the... Quad lock fork stem mount pro, and again, you need to be able to use a fork stem mount. Most likely, that's only if you have a sport bike, okay? Most likely, you need a sport bike to use this. So if you don't have a sport bike and you're not sure, don't enter. <laughs> There's lots of crap to give away. Trust me. The, the, anyone can use the armadillo bag. I'm just trying to give away this thing because they sent me an extra that won't work with my bikes, okay? Thank you, Thumper Squid. Obviously, it was Violet. Uh, so this giveaway, exclamation point enter, is for the fork stem mount, all right? Only enter right now if you want the fork stem mount, exclamation point enter. If you can use it and you will buy a case for your phone. Otherwise, don't enter. There will be lots of sticker giveaways, y'all. Technically, when you go to Disney World, Disneyland to Batu, it is, uh, 
It is violet. They call it violet. I also would call it purple, but they say violet. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you. Thumper squeed. Well, that thing is behind, yo. That was that was a while ago. That was a while ago. All right, if you're entering right now, you better be able to use a fork stand mount. That's all I'm saying. Because if not, I'm just gonna like keep the dang thing. I don't care what bike you put it on. I just want it to go to someone that will use it, not like some douchebag that's gonna resell it or something. I have I have a lot of hatred in my heart for resellers. That reminds me of something that happened this week that I think I can tell you about because it's not going to happen. It's a weird sentence. I almost bought a motorcycle this week. Anybody want to guess what it was? Like, very close. Like, I'm pretty sure he sold it to someone else. I actually haven't heard from him. But uh, but if he'd said yes, I would have bought it literally today. Okay, let's draw the winner for this. All right, this is for the fork stem mount. Timothy Adkins. Timothy Adkins, you've won. you got to email me at dorkadorkontheroad.com and you have to say in that email, I will buy a case for my phone to go with this. Okay? Okay. That's for the fork stem mount. Also, remind me what you won because I don't have McLovin here saying, uh, keeping track for me. So, say, I won the fork stem mount. I will buy a case for my phone. This is my physical address. Alex, I got a whole video about that, man. It's because I can drink Coors Lights all night and not be hungover. But if I drink good beer all night, I will definitely be hungover. And then my neighbor keeps bringing me whiskey shots, so I got to hydrate between whiskey shots. Yeah, David, I believe you. If you say it'll work, it'll work. It will not work on the DRZ, I can tell you that. So, Timothy, you good? Oh, you guys are good. You guys are good. That's me and Milio. We all love Timothy Atkins. Jixer, Sportser, interesting. Interesting. No, I don't... Reselling... No. I mean, I, I get flipping a bike if you buy it for less than it's worth, but I'm not going to buy a bike that's in demand and then sell it for more money and keep it from somebody that would use it. Electric Harley. 77 XL 175. That's very specific. Very specific. <clears throat> McLovin's driving a tractor. Nice, Jason. Yeah, I'll just tell you guys, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. If I was going to be able to get it, I would not say anything, because I would want to do a reveal video. But, it was a Tenere 700. Yeah, there was a dude, a local guy... It's actually a good story. I'll just tell you the story. So I went to, uh, I had, I had my D Sports mounted at a local motorcycle shop. Thank you, DR Adventures. Cheers to you. And uh, while I was there, kind of waiting, I was just kind of talking to the one guy, and he mentioned that he had a buddy that was selling his T7, and I was like, seriously? Because I will literally buy that tomorrow if he's not charging it a ridiculous amount. And he's like, I think he's trying to get 1011 for it. And I was like, you know what? 11 is what I paid, what I would pay if I went to the dealer with fees, so I'd pay 11. So I was like, I gave him my card, gave him my number. The guy guy texted me later that night, and we were talking about it. And uh, basically, it sounds like he had a few offers for twelve thousand dollars. And uh, I don't want to pay twelve thousand dollars. It annoys me to pay more than retail. So I offered him eleven thousand dollars, and uh, eleven thousand dollars plus some items that are valuable that people often trade when we're talking about motorcycles. I'm just gonna keep it vague, not drugs. Um, that was where we landed, and I haven't heard from the guy. So, I think he must have sold it to one of the guys that were promising him $12,000. Otherwise, I wouldn't be telling you about it right now. But if you text me tomorrow, I'm buying a Tenere. Daryl's outside again. Yeah, I'm with you, David. So, I came this close to buying a Tenere this week. Um, Yeah. But, and if, if I could buy one at a dealership, I would buy one right now. I, th I just really feel like that's the bike for me. Very happy with my KLR. Um, and obviously I would keep the KLR if I bought a Tenere, because there's a bunch of content I still want to make on it. I've only had the damn thing for like three months. But if I had a chance to get my hands on a, on a Tenere for a reasonable amount of money, I would buy it. Oh, no problem, Miata. 
Okay, I gotta, again, go see what the hell's going on outside. Daryl keeps pulling me away from the stream, but Daryl's a rad guy. Rad guy. Because, Daniel, you can't get him. If there was any other way to get him, I wouldn't. This one only had 900 miles. I was with it. I was into it, but you just can't... The dealerships are selling Tenere 700s for $14,000. So 11 is reasonable at this point. I'll be back. Oh. You guys are watching. Daryl, you can come in and say hi, dude. You are you know I'm sitting in here. You're welcome to come. It's, it's, it's a post-it note that says, sorry, no limes. <laughs> I think Daryl just wants to be like Wilson from Home Improvement. He wants to be like unseen. He wants to be the mysterious neighbor. That's his shtick. I just opened this, so now I'm like drowning in beer, you know, which is not a terrible thing. But Okay, no more until I finish some of this stuff, please. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Alex, if you saw my video about why I bought a KLR, you would know that buying a T7 is not an option. That's why I don't have one. Do people not know how hard they are to get? The, the waiting list at my local dealer is 50 people long. He told me they're getting three this year. You cannot get them. If I could go buy one, I would do it tomorrow for, for retail price, but you cannot do it. Oh, DR Adventures. I am going to go to... Do you guys see that uh, Ducati is touring with the, the new bikes? And so they're going to be like doing like a little show where they go to various dealerships and you can get uh, an early look at the Desert X. Uh, and they're doing that. They're, they're, they're coming to Portland in March and I'm going. So if you all want to see me in a place, I'm going to be at that Ducati event. It's like a Wednesday in March, like the 22nd or something. I already, bought, already got tickets. It's free. I do have the best neighbor. He's a rock star. He's over there. He's on that side. It's backwards on the camera. He's he's on the left. Looks like I'm pointing right on the screen. Weird. Eleven array. Okay. Yeah, duck fans always talking about Abusa with knobbies. Yeah, I kind of hate it, Winterson, but the thing is, people pay it. They'll keep doing it as long as people pay it. People pay it. What's up, Bikes Camera Adventure? Yeah, I'll wait. That's the thing. It's like, I'll get one eventually. I'll get one eventually. Or something else will come out. That You know, Honda will come out with that Trans Alp or whatever. And when they do, I'll buy that. Because I just want a 450-pound adventure bike. I don't need a thousand cc's personally. <sighs> Seven? Wow. <laughs> All right, Daryl. I have. I did a review on the Pan America. Check it out. I got a video. I did a test ride, not a review. Uh, I will tell you that thing is damn fast, dude. Like I looked down, I was like, "Oh hell, I'm going 90." And then Duck Fan went past me like I was standing still. Seriously, we had fun on that test ride. They did not care. Yeah, total. And like, here's the thing, like, not to toot my own horn or be too big for my britches, but it should be a little easier for me to get one, you know? Just because I have a little bit longer reach, you know, I can say to you guys, help me find one. And somebody who had a line on one might let me know, and I still can't get my hands on one. Wandering Turtle, I started on a street bike. I've had a couple, but not, honestly, no. Not much interest. Not much interest. And that's the other thing, Marcus. People that have them or that are selling them want the value for their mods. And they can probably get it. Normally you can't. But uh, 
I don't want one that's modded. I want to do the mods myself. Like, I want to put stuff on it that I can then have affiliate links on. So, that's the other, it's like, it actually isn't better for me. Some people are, like, there's a guy I saw in Seattle selling one. It's like, he's got 13 grand on it, literally, like, today. But I don't want all the extra mods he has. Awesome, Timothy. That'll work. I wish the Nord 901 wasn't so expensive. I wish it wasn't more than the 890. And it's stupid, but I just... You guys know I'm not a huge KTM fan, but I would totally buy a Husky, even though they're the same thing. I don't know. It's a weird mental block I have. I mean, a lot of KLRs have knobbies. I think I'm probably going to put D-Sports on mine. I gotta see how I like these on the street, the ones that are on the DRZ. Right, Aaron, if you go on Cycle Trader, dealerships say they have them, but they don't. <laughs> like, they're lying. That's to get you to come in and. Because there's a dealership in Seattle that claims they always that they have them, and they don't have them. That's a lie. It's a lie. <sighs> My thing says I have one viewer right now. Awesome, Jeffo. Jeffro. I feel like we have more than one. Over here it says 183, so... I don't know. I think this one's lying. I didn't watch it yet, Kyle. I'll tell my watch, my watch later. I want to see what he paid for it. We're lucky here because we don't have sales tax, so we save a little bit based on... Compared to what a lot of you pay. We have a tiny tax for new vehicles, but it's like 0.5%. So, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks or whatever. But we don't have crazy big sales tax. Larson is good stuff. Yeah, tons of these. I'm glad you liked it. Awesome, Icarus. Space Cowboy, you're the one. Everyone else is in my imagination. <laughs> Sometimes can I feel like two people. It's back up to 184 now. It's weird. How many bikes have flowed through my garage? Not as many as you'd think. Um, I definitely bought and sold a few. I don't know. What am I up to? Like eight or nine probably? If you count Lil's bikes, I mean, we had the 110 and the 125, and now I've got the XT. She was riding the 250L for a while. I had the 500X and the Versus 650, the Africa Twin, you know, the KLR, the DRZ, the XT225, obviously. Uh, I had two Groms. I've had two Groms. <sighs> Shit, how many is that? Like 10? That's awesome that you got one, Brick. What kind of oil are you using? Great question. Um, so, uh, you mean brand? Right now it's uh, whatever Rocky Mountain sends me. So it's been... Uh, I like to use uh, conventional oil for the first two oil changes. So the break-in oil change and then the first one. And then after that, uh, I like to run synthetic. They've been sending me Bel Ray. Uh, I've also used... Uh, shit, I shouldn't have said that because I can't remember the name. A different brand. Oh, the Bras. Yeah, the Bras. Forgot about the bras. Oh, Touareg 660 thoughts. Yes, the nearest Aprilia dealer is five hours away. And uh, given Aprilia's, shall we say, inconsistent reputation for reliability, I'm uncomfortable with that. You guys also know, here's the thing, and I feel bad for those of you that don't know this, because when you ask me about bikes and bike recommendations, I am 100% biased. Like, I am a Japanese motorcycle fanboy it's not it, like i don't even look at other bikes i barely consider them the only other the only non-japanese bike i've ever seriously considered is that triumph 900 um yeah so it, it, you know ask ask me but with a grain of salt because i don't uh i just i don't have much interest in non-japanese bikes now if somebody was like 
take this for a while and test it out. I'd be like, hell yeah, give it to me. I want to prove it to myself. Like if KTM was like, do you want an 890 to ride for a year? I would be like, hell yes, give me an 890 to ride for a year. So I can prove to myself that they're more reliable than I think they are. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's prove it one way or the other. Because I'd put a ton of, of miles on it. Knowing you got everything you need for a motorcycle adventure, do you still feel like you're missing something? Like, do you need better gear? I always want to upgrade something. There's always something, right? Um, I have everything I need. It's it's interesting. That's actually that's a great question because at some point you have the basics covered, right? And then it just becomes a matter of of, of refining your setup, of getting a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable. And it's funny because the basics you can cover your basics for a reasonable amount of money reasonable amount of money but when you start upgrading getting more comfortable and making things more compact and lighter the the expense goes way up right and that's the stage i'm at now so i got to the point where i have everything i want or what i need right and now it's like mm, you know what would be neat a little bit more comfortable tent or a little bit smaller tent but to get a smaller tent than what i have i have to pay a bunch of money so i just bought that tiger wall uh, because it packs down a lot smaller and it's a very expensive tent. Um, it's, it costs twice as much as the one I had before. And it's only slightly smaller. But that's the only way to get smaller things. So that's, I guess, where I'm at. Is I have everything I need. But now I'm refining the setup. Now I'm making the setup a little smaller. I just upgraded my riding gear. I got I got the Climb Carlsbad gear. And that's not something I would have bought as a new rider. It costs way too much if you don't know for sure that you're going to ride a ton. Right? Um, but now that I know that I'm riding a ton in all weather, it, the, the investment will pay off over time and something like that. So, yeah. You can have your basics covered, but you're always kind of looking to improve. I just got a much nicer axe. Like, I don't need a nicer axe. It's just neat to have it, and it's fun, and I like it, and I like to buy shit. So, yeah. I have risers on my DRZ. I don't have them on the KLR. Jet boil, awesome, great present. I might get a lot of use on my jet boil. That's good for you, Ken. That um, Harold from Giant Loop said the same thing about their 1090. He said he's had no issues with it, and it's like seven or eight years old. So, but, and that's the thing I think about KTM's is if you get a lemon, you got a lemon. But if you don't, you may be fine, right? But I don't even want to do valve checks. I don't want to deal with any of that shit. So uh, that's why I like Japanese bikes. I can basically ignore the fact that they need maintenance, do an oil change once in a while, and they'll be good. I'm not mechanically savvy enough to deal with the ex extra maintenance that come with the more high-performance bikes. And I honestly don't care about high-performance because I'm not a good enough rider to get the use out of it. Welcome, Dark Rider. <clears throat> How did I determine that I needed risers? Um, I felt hunched over. I, d I probably don't need them. It's a total crutch. You're supposed to bend your knees. Um, you're not supposed to need risers unless you're like 6'3". But I, my stance is if it gets me standing up more, then I'm better prepared to deal with whatever unexpected crap I come across than I would be with risers that are the right, or with bars that are the right height, but I sit down all the time because I get tired from bending my knees. So it makes sense to me to buy the risers. They make me more comfortable. I like them. What cameras do I use? I just bought a Sony ZV-1. That's a great little camera, but on my, I've been using the Hero 9 on my helmet, but I just switched to a, uh, I just switched to the, the Mavic, no, Jesus, the DJI Osmo Action, because my GoPro freezes all the time and loses sound. It's a piece of shit. I have a firebox stove. What's up, Circus Bear? Uh, I have a Climb Creos helmet right now. Yeah, I like the Climb gear because it has more room for American-sized people, a.k.a. fat people like me. The European-styled stuff doesn't fit me as well. Yeah, I can't sleep on my back here, otherwise I would probably rock a hammock too. i got to figure out. Everyone tells me you could side sleep in a hammock, but I haven't figured it out yet. These are armadillo bags, by the way. Adam, welcome. You're a member now. You get a cool username color. So you may have seen that we are giving away one of these tonight. Thanks to Giant Loop. So Giant Loop is going to send, this is a one gallon fuel container 
for all your power sports needs, motorcycle, truck, overland, whatever. And this is a very valuable and fantastic item, and we're going to give it away. So that's why they're hanging on the wall behind me, because this is what we're giving away tonight. So there's a link to this in the description if you want to check it out. This is the second generation product, and uh, it's a lot cheaper than the first gen was. So this one gallon is 100 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than a Rotopax in amount or uh, a bigger fuel tank for your bike. And the great thing about that is you can use this with anything you have that uses gas, unlike Rotopax mount. It only works with the bike you put it on, or fuel tank. It only works with the bike you put it on. There's McLovin. These guys are unruly tonight, McLovin. Yeah, Circus Bear, it's a gas bag, but it's this. the upgraded version is the armadillo bag. And I told you all that because I'm going to go... No, I'm not. Can we hit 200? If we hit 200, I'll give it away. I'm going to give it away, but let's see if we can hit 200 first. What do you think? Can we hit 200? It would help if you guys hit the like button. That would make it more visible and maybe more people will come in. But let's try to hit 200 before we give it away. I think we should try. What do you think? Let's try. Uh. Ah, Critter, you beat me to it, bro. My code does work on armadillo bags. Yes, yeah, so you can save 15% on an armadillo bag on Giant Loop site if you don't win. Which is 15 bucks off the one gallon. That's not nothing. Uh, dork in the road is my code. All one word. Dork in the road. No worries, McLevin. It actually went down when I said that. <laughs> now we have fewer viewers. Maybe we won't hit 200. I don't know. Yeah, if you're 6'4", you definitely want risers. I mean, most people rethink would wait till the end of the stream. I'm being, I'm very generous by doing it in the middle, I feel like. Oh, Keith, that's such a good question. My favorite sort of daily drinker is Elijah Craig, which you see behind my head. Oh my god, everything's backwards and I keep screwing it up. This is a good one. Um, that's my favorite sort of drink it all the time. Favorite of all time, I don't know, I'd have to think about it. I haven't opened my Blanton's yet. Mad Max, have you seen my review of uh, the Climb Marrakesh gear? It's fantastic and is the most comfortable gear I've ever worn. So, check that out. It's a not cheap, but it is so comfortable and I wore it in the desert and didn't die. So, <laughs> it went way down when I said that. We dropped like 12 people since I said that. I don't know, Heinz. You'd have to get on and just see if it feels comfortable to you. You might need risers. Do what makes the most sense to you. I have not Digital Tango. I only tried once. Uh, Dave, my favorite Star Wars movie is Return of the Jedi. Chad, I haven't done one yet, but maybe someday. I don't know. Here's the thing you guys forget, or you don't know. I'm just like a huge introvert. I just... Meeting people, I have the worst social anxiety, so I don't want to like... The last time I did a group ride, I was so stressed out going into it. I did not have fun. And I don't, I think it would be different now. I'm a very different person. I'm older, wiser, and more mature. But uh, that's what stops me from just setting it up, is that it stresses me the hell out. I have tried Evan Williams Single Barrel. I didn't like it. <sighs> I do hate the prequels. I definitely think two and three are very weak movies. Uh, I've come to appreciate them in a different way, but Hayden Christensen's acting is terrible and it ruins the movie for me, no matter what. Both of them, two and three. I feel like I could probably enjoy the movie otherwise at this point. I, the other stuff that annoyed me I've gotten past, but his acting is so bad. Dave, I have not ridden single track in the KLR. Maybe someday. Garrick well, I would be getting into spoilers if I answered that question, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I can. And that's the thing people don't get. I don't give a shit about talking to a group of people. I would rather talk to 200 people than three people. A group, a faceless mass of human beings presenting in front of people, that doesn't bother me and never has. Talking to, like, two people I don't know scares the shit out of me. 
It's not the same thing. A lot of famous people are, not that I'm a famous person, but as an example, not, lots of famous people are introverts. David Letterman's introvert. He's a, he doesn't like meeting people, but performing is not a problem. <laughs> Do a group ride, all introverts. Nobody talks. I have a bottle of Blantas, I just haven't opened it yet. Haven't set up my new tent yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I definitely want to do a review on that one because I know a lot of people are curious. The reason why I got that tent is because so many people ask me for tent recommendations. And the tent that I use, they don't make anymore. So I can't recommend it to people. So I wanted to get one that people could actually get if they liked it. I love Ewan. He's badass. Obi-Wan will be good. Except Hayden Christensen's going to be in it. Damn it! Why? So annoying. They should get the guy that played Anakin in the Clone Wars. He's way better. Oh. Alright, well, so much for getting to 200. It's only gone down. So what I'm going to do is go inside, urinate, come back out, let's give away a gas bag. What do you think? I think... Okay, Wandering Turtle, you got me started here, but as a person who has directed actors, right, uh, and, you know, students, I think Hayden could have played the part if he had good direction. I fully blame Lucas, because who the hell could watch that performance and be like, hmm, that was good, yeah. Who could watch him going, ugh, I hate you, bleh, and be like, wow, so convincing, so realistic. No, I, I fully blame George Lucas for that. And there's a reason why he hadn't directed a movie since 1977, and I wish he hadn't. You guys got me started on this shit, okay? Not a prequel hater anymore. I am a Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker hater. I will tell you that. But I blame George Lucas mostly. I'll be right back. I have another beer here, thanks to Daryl, so I don't have to go get one of those. I'll be right back. self-conscious about singing when I pee, so I didn't do it this time. <laughs> okay, here's what cracks me up about this, okay? One, Daryl, you're so awesome. Sorry, no limes. Um, I actually like Corona better without lime, and I heard this, I don't know for sure, but what I heard was Americans are dumb, and Mexicans don't actually put the lime juice in their beer, they just put the lime on top to keep the flies out of it. Is that true? They don't actually put the juice in? Like I said, I like it better without it. I could go both ways. All right, let's give away. Ooh, I almost hit end stream just super impulsively. I don't know why. Um, an armadillo bag. You have to be in the United States of America to win. If you give me an address that is not in the United States of America, I'm going to say, ooh, sorry, and give it to someone else. So do not enter if you are not in the United States of America. Repeat, do not enter to win this if you do not reside in the United States of America because you will not win and you're just taking the prize from someone else who could. I'm sorry that it's only USA. I have no control over that. So you're like, look, Critter's entering. Critter, you can't win, dude. You can't win. Don't enter. You're setting a bad example. Mods should not set a bad example. You're entering to win a one-gallon gas bag, okay? Or a one-gallon armadillo bag. I'm not supposed to call it gas bag anymore. Look. Armadillo bag. Also, we should all thank Giant Loop for sponsoring this. Alrighty. So big shout out and thank you to Giant Loop for donating a bag for us to, to give away. It's a big deal. They're footing the bill, paying for shipping. It says USA only very clearly. So, you know, don't get me wrong. Whoa. 
Whoa. Yeah, Critter. I'll have him ship it to my house. And Critter, do you have someone you can have it shipped to in the U.S.? Whoop. Sorry, many. I got a lot of emails. Thanks, Giant Loop. Thanks, Giant Loop. Also, legit. Giant Loop is the only reason I'm able to make as much content as I can because they pay me to run their channel. So big shout out and thank you to Giant Loop for making my dream come true. And uh, you all benefit, I hope. If you like my content, if you don't, one, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, and two, sorry. But uh, they're the reason I'm able, like, all the events I got to go to last summer, that's Giant Loop. Like, I could not have gone to Touratech if I was still working my school district job. I'm trying to get Duck Fan to come to all this stuff and he can't do it all because he's working. If you typed exclamation point enter, you're entered. The bot may not catch up. It's slow, but... I'm gonna get all this pressure off me. Whew. I don't know if Dan's still here, but Dan, if you see Dan Warmke, that's Dan from Giant Loop. He's a badass. He's the one making all this happen for us. Delicious. Correct, Bikes Camera. You're my online drinking and writing buddy. Uh, you guys are still entering, so don't type it anymore if you already entered. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone gets a chance to get in. Um, what are we up to? 121 entries. That's pretty a lot. That's pretty a lot. Certified Car Nut. Thank you for subscribing. Yes, good. Starting to slow down a little. Um, the armadillo bag is bourbon safe, except it's going to give it a nasty taste. So um, the bourbon won't destroy the bag, but apparently uh, that's why you're not supposed to use them for water because they give it a little bit of a taste. You can use it for non-potable water, uh, but uh, yeah. Hard Tech Cafe was fun. I'd go back. The burger was good. Damn, we're almost up to 200. You don't have to enter, CJ. Dave, I just used Gaia on my phone, but I also have that, uh, the Garmin, uh, what the hell's it called? I don't remember. The Garmin. I have the Garmin. The Garmin thing. Zumo, XT. All right, closing entries. Are you guys ready to draw a winner? Let's draw a winner for the Giant Loop Gas Bag. Okay? If you win, you got to email me. Dorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadorkadork
Send me your address. Any ideas? Any advice on how to pack for a long distance trip? Yep. Pack light. Pack the stuff that you need. And uh, understand that there's stuff that you can get on the way, right? So you don't need every single thing, but pack the stuff that's not perishable or replaceable easily. I haven't done that many long rides. Brewer Auction Service, Indiana, Kentucky. Welcome to Internet Riding Buddy. Thanks for joining. Enjoy that green name. There are four videos right now that are complete, that are early access for those of you that are members and patrons. So you just join that. So if you want to be a member or a patron and get early access to videos, this literally, here's what I do. I edit a video, right? I render it. And the second it's done rendering, I upload it. And as soon as it's done uploading, I post it for members. So uh, members, channel members get them literally like an hour after I finish the video. No kidding. <sighs> I would probably take the KLR because of the larger gas tank and because there's always, just because I'd have to get to Colorado. Bike Camera Adventure, cheers, thank you for that. Delta, I totally already answered that, bro. They ever use one of those combo booster packs and power packs? No, but uh, I talked to the guy at Anti Gravity Batteries about his and they seem really cool, so that's something I would do. I just have a lot of battery packs, so I just use those. I got a solar a solar charging battery pack recently that I want to use next year. <clears throat> awesome, Dominic. Cheers, man. That's rad. Check my render before I upload it? No, I don't. And if there was something wrong with it, then one of the members would tell me, because I'm two weeks ahead right now, so I would have time to fix it. I watch it because I, so I edit it and then I go through and I watch the whole thing again, which I didn't used to do because I was always in a hurry. Uh, and when it looks fine, I render it, then I upload it and then I post it for y'all. I've literally not one time had a problem with a render and I have over 500 videos. 390RR, that's a fun bike. I test rode one and enjoyed it a lot. That's a very light, fun bike to throw around. But it costs a lot of money. That's probably smart, Icarus. Are you going to camp on the way or stay in hotels? That's a long way to go. Good for you. I have actually only, at this point, ridden out of state one time. So We'll get there. Like I said, you know, I just started riding. My KLR does not burn oil, or at least it hasn't yet. But it only has like... 1,300 miles on it. <sighs> Stealth. There you go. Do you reach out to companies for gear reviews or wait for them to hit you up? Um, I haven't done a gear review in a long time. I mostly reach out to companies. Very, I don't get... Companies don't reach out to me often for motorcycle stuff. It seems like the motorcycle industry is behind in terms of social media. I do get... Re camping stuff I got sometimes camping companies will reach out to me or like that battery pack company they reached out to me um yeah I actually got a, a sponsorship started a sponsorship conversation <laughs> with a cereal company so you might see me eating cereal in a video at some point supermoto school would be hella fun I would love to do that start a podcast I'd like to. I, who the hell has time? Me, because I don't work a freaking job anymore, but I don't know. Who wants to listen to me talk about stuff? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about most of the time. Nice, Icarus. You have 4,000 on your 22? Well done, Dave. I bought mine in October, and my riding slowed down significantly after uh, when December hit. Of course, you guys know I hurt myself. Do you know I hurt myself? I hurt myself in December, so uh, yesterday was the first time I've ridden since Christmas, and I made a video that comes out next week, and the thumbnail literally says, I was butt hurt. I gotta show it to you. I gotta show it to you, because it cracks me up a lot. Here. Hold on. I'll show you the thumbnail. And it's me talking about my ass injury. Not just talking about my ass injury, but look. 
Because the picture is so perfect. It's just me sort of pensively looking off in the distance and it says, I was butt hurt. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up, dude. I crack myself up. I shouldn't, but I do. That made me laugh so hard when I came up with that. <laughs> oh, I'm drinking too much. Mm, so stupid. I mean, I didn't hurt myself on purpose, Icarus. It's not my fault. It's the stupid rain and stupid Disneyland. They're stupid wet floors. Gravity hurt me. That's what happened. I would ride a Himalayan. I, and in fact, I talked to Royal Enfield at AM Expo. I was like, get me one. Because I, people are always asking me about what about low-cost, entry-level adventure bikes. And the Himalayan's right there, man. The Himalayan's right there. Good night, Linda. I am the butt of my own joke. Damn, Daryl, that's so nice. Crazy to hear the hear the phrase impact on the dual sport ADV world. I do not consider myself a person that has had an impact. I'm just an idiot who talks to himself in the woods, man. That's so nice to hear. Uh, yeah, Mad Max, the climb Marrakesh, and I have the pants and the jacket, and I did a review. If you look in my past videos, I did a review this past summer of the climb Marrakesh. Great set. Not cheap, but literally the most the most comfortable gear I've ever worn, and it's not close because it's stretchy like a like a soft shell fabric. It's really comfortable. I cannot wait until it warms up enough for me to wear that stuff again. Dave, I'm getting K crash bars for my KLR as soon as Rocky Mountain comes out with theirs. Yeah, Cody, it's a bitch. I had to bend mine in the vice, dude. D Sport, I did the D Flex Pros. Yeah, I think I told someone I bought D Sport Pros, and that's not right. Oops. Uh, but I had to bend them in the vice. Yeah, the Himalayan 650, that'll be good. 650 or 600? 650, right? So if you guys aren't signed up for the Giant Loop ride, I can say this. It's not public knowledge yet, but it's not a secret. Uh, Royal Enfield will be there with demo bikes. So, uh, at the Giant Loop Ride. Royal Enfield will be there, and I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about the others, but there will be a few other manufacturers there doing demos. That's all I'm saying. So come to the Giant Loop Ride. You can ride demo bikes. You can, you know, get a high five, shake my hand. Free beer? Come on. Free beer? I mean, you're paying for it, but free beer? You can walk by my trailer and hear me snoring inside. It's going to be a great deal. Oregon Critter. I don't drink a lot of scotch. I have some monkey shoulder that I like. What did we have? Oh, we had some in Vegas. What was it? Uh, it was good. I liked it. I don't like the peaty stuff. I like the sweeter stuff. Night rethink. Have a good one. Giant Loop Ride is in Burns, Oregon. It's not sold out yet, but if you're going to sign up, I would do it in the next two days. Ryan, that's you, right? Yeah, why'd you change your name, dude? Um, because it's it's almost full. What up? What up, Mr... I always say your name wrong, dude. Binder, cheers to you, my friend. Thank you for that. Maybe when they sell out, we could convince them to let us give one, another one away on the live stream. What do you think? You think we can do that? Giant Loop's in June. First weekend in June. Yeah. Definitely come Thursday night if you can. I'm going to. Garrick, that's a great... And you and it's not expensive. So you can come a night early. It's not like the routes aren't available to ride the day before. That way you have all day Friday to ride and all day Saturday. Highly recommend coming Thursday. That's what I'm going to do. I will be there on Thursday. And that you can... The other thing is if you come Thursday, you get a good camp spot. Because if you come on Friday, people are like just rolling in. And you just got to take what's left. Come in Thursday, pay for the extra night, you get a good spot. Yeah, what are you doing, Moto Camp Nerd? Get here. 
I haven't two wheeled adventures, but I'd like to. That Idaho P Idaho BDR is gorgeous. I mean, the Giant Loop ride's kind of like a Horicon. Matthew, just go to Crystal Crane Hot Springs website. Crystal Crane Hot Springs is where it's at, and you just book a campsite on their website directly. Fix Build Play. Thank you for that. McLovin will be there Thursday. Critter Moto is going to be here. Critter, are you riding down? You going to ride your bike, your 250L? I was going to offer to let you stop here and I'll drive you the rest of the way, but I, my trailer is going to be full with Duck Fans bike and mine. Amanda will not be at the Giant Loop ride. I tried really hard to get her to come. She feels weird about the conflict between that and Wolfman, even though there isn't one. But I don't think she's going to be there. I did try. You guys were here a month ago. We, tr we spent the whole night leaning on her trying to get her to go. <sighs> if I could only go to one rally, I mean, I'd go to Giant Loop because it worked for them. Like, <laughs> I want to be there at the Giant Loop event for sure. Damn, Critter. Good for you, man. Yeah, I would totally offer to just throw your bike in my trailer and take you the rest of the way, but I don't have room for three bikes in my trailer. I could put one in the back of the truck. Then there's not room for a shit. I don't know. I shouldn't have said that out loud. You can follow us. I'm starting to get the impression, Critter, McLovin, Ryan, tell me if I'm wrong, that a lot of beers are going to get drunk Thursday night. At the ride. What do you guys think? Are a lot of beers going to get drunk Thursday night? I feel like we're going to drink a lot of beers on Thursday night. So if you want to come get involved in all the beer drinking, uh, uh, I would come on Thursday night if I were you. Hang out with us. Whew. Bucket list riding locations. Every BDR, for sure. Um, would like to ride... To Alaska someday. You can go to Amanda's Rock. Oh, she's sold out. Uh, but if you go to Rocky Mountain Roll, you'll meet Amanda for sure. I don't, I don't think she's going to be at Tourist Act. I haven't heard anything. She will be, Amanda will be at Overland Expo. So there's Overland Expo in Redmond this year. Shit, I have it on my calendar. Um, you should go to that if you guys aren't going to anything else. What? When is it? I put it on my calendar. Let's see. I want to say it's in. It's in July. July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Overland Expo in Redmond. <sighs> oh yeah, you could come to McLovin's house. He might even let you crash there the night before. And then you guys can ride out to Burns the next day together. Do that. I'm setting that up right now. Yeah, Critter, we could drink on Wednesday night. And then roll out Thursday. And then drink again on Thursday night. Yeah, Matthew, there's tons of, like, the Reservoir Loop is easy. Really, there's a ton of, um, there's all kinds of different skill levels. If I were you, I would, uh, I would ask somebody who's ridden the route before because the route descriptions are not very good. Um, three Skippy Three. I didn't know you were, you were a, an officer. Uh, McLevin, he'll probably say it, but he is, he actually just changed jobs. Uh, another beer would be great, Daryl, although I have more, so don't feel obligated. I have an, um, at least one more Coors Light in the fridge, dude. <sighs> Gamber 500 is not a motorcycle thing. Aaron, I would love to do that someday, man. My Once I get, like, my goal this year is to ride a BDR, and then after that, my goal is to ride all of the BDRs. Someday. I mean, if this is my job, right, forever, which is the hope, then someday I'll be able to do that. Matthew, go to the Albert. Just don't go out the way that we did. That's what I get for following Ryan's friend. If we just gone back out to the gravel road, it would have been no problem. Don't try to ride the track out the south end. That's only for dual sport bikes, not for adventure bikes. That sucked bad. But I would absolutely ride that route 
on my um, on my DRZ. Like if we went back this year, I would totally hit that sand dune in my DRZ because I don't give a shit if I drop my DRZ. You guys see McLovin's face all the time. It's Duck Fan whose face you can't see. And he thinks that's so funny. And I think it's such a pain in the ass to edit around his stupid face. And it's not funny because he doesn't show up often enough for you guys to remember the joke, most of you. <sighs> We're doing an Alaska cruise. Next year, assuming things aren't crazy, God, we keep saying that, um, and I would love to do one of the excursions. I know there's at least one where you can actually literally rent KLRs and go ride KLRs. So you do put the juice in and put salt. Interesting. Okay, so what I read was wrong. I read it was a fly prevention thing. Chad, stay tuned. We'll have one... Sorry, let me rephrase that. The rumor is we'll have one pretty soon. They just released Wyoming. They haven't announced what the next BDR is. There's a big hole in their map in a certain state. They usually announce the BDRs at the beginning of the year. They haven't announced what's coming out in 2023. That's all I'm saying. It's been great. McLovin's been two days, bro. I'm glad you're happy. Seriously, glad you're happy. <clears throat> Just saying. Just saying. I mean, he had his mask on, Crozier. What are you talking about? He has a mask on, Jay. We went on Alaska cruise for our honeymoon, but we didn't do hardly any excursions because we were broke as hell. So it's going to be nice to go back and be able to do things. Yeah, I would love to ride New Zealand. I'd love to ride Hawaii. I'd love to ride all kinds of places. But I want to hit up all of America. Like, I want to ride Colorado bad. There's, like, people outside. Weird. All right. I got to go uh, get another beer, so. Oh, I guess I don't need to because there's one outside. I don't know what's going on. There's people out there. That's probably Daryl. Daryl, just come in, dude. I'll be right back. I owe you guys a giveaway. I forgot to do one while I was reading. But look what I found outside. Look at this. There's money on my beer. What the hell? Daryl, you don't have to donate money, bro. You let me ride your bike and make a video on it, dude. That made me money. You don't have to donate money. I'm going to use this to buy you beer. Daryl, you going to win the Giant Loop ride? You should sign up for the Giant Loop ride. I can talk to my people. You should go. It's going to be rad. <clears throat> you should go to the Giant Loop Ride. Everyone tell Daryl to go to the Giant Loop Ride. Every no, no. Everyone tell Daryl's wife, Karen, to tell him to go to the Giant Loop Ride. Yeah, do that. Thanks, Daryl. Hold on. Everyone pressure Daryl to go to the Giant Loop Ride before I do a giveaway. Matthew. Yeah, I made a video about that, man. Um... Well, one, used gear is a thing. You can get it. But two, uh, summer gear, mesh gear with like a sweatshirt underneath, you can save a lot of money with that. 
Daryl go to Giant Loop. Enter Daryl. Good night, Rasty. Good night, Paula. Good to see you. Aggressive friendship. I'm getting so many emails right now. Good news, the gas bag winner is in America, so he's definitely winning. Thanks, Chris. Critter, you're a rock star, dude. <laughs> oh, Daryl, you gotta go to the Giant Loop ride, bro. <laughs> Do you know how famous you would be? Everyone would be like, holy shit, it's neighbor Daryl. My favorite thing is you're all spelling Daryl the right way. That's cool. Oh, hold on. He said something and I missed it. Shit. What'd you say, Daryl? Uh, easier to donate on a beer than through the internet. Well, yeah, but you don't need to donate. You donated me the option to ride your bike, man. <sighs> yeah, Delta. But I, here's the thing. When I'm gone a lot, my wife gets mad. So I have to come home between because I miss my wife and she misses me. So I can't just stay in Washington the whole time. Like literally last September and October, I was not home one weekend. Daryl, you should go to the Giant Lip Ride. But if you don't sign up right now, you're not going to get in. So, you know, do it. Okay, who, who wants stickers? Anyone want stickers? Raise your hand if you want stickers. Anybody? Mod's crushing it right now. I didn't even see that one. You guys are doing it such a good job. And Critter and uh, and McLevin are fighting. So McLevin, you obviously didn't go to Primeville. Karen wants him to go. Oh, <laughs> Daryl, you're in, bud. You're in. I'd offer to let you ride with me, but I don't have room for another bike. But you can follow us. Here's the other thing about Daryl. Are you ready? Daryl has access to a uh, little property in in uh, in a in a cool location. I don't want to throw him under the bus, and he's been like, "We should do like a camp out there." So maybe we should set that up for this summer or spring. We could go and uh, a few people. Obviously, it's not enough room for everybody, but we could do a little camping and riding. Oh, you guys are you guys talk me into it. You guys talk me into it. McLevin's home this weekend. Right, but... So, the reason Beards isn't here is because uh, he's camping and riding in Prineville. And I was invited, and I didn't go for two reasons. One, it's going to be 28 degrees overnight. Actually, there's three reasons. Two, I wasn't sure if, I, if my butt was healed up enough. Um, and three, I had to be here with you guys. Coney, I'm sorry. Email me and I'll send you another one, dude. Sometimes my handwriting is shitty. That's my guess as to why you didn't get it. Because I always send them. But my handwriting's pretty bad. So I imagine sometimes the addresses get screwy. And or you emailed the wrong person. Which sometimes happens. But email me. Yeah, they're Jeff Hoffman. They're staying at um, Chimney Rock Campground this weekend. And I would like to go do that. But I think I would like to wait until it's about four degrees warmer. The other thing is they were like, oh, we're going to do trail riding. And I'm just real wary of going trail riding with people I haven't ridden with. Because if they're like a lot better than me, I'm just not that good. So I just don't want to hold people back. And I don't want to be pushed into stuff that I don't want to do. So I just, I, hear, I, I rarely go trail riding with people that I haven't ridden with before. That I don't sort of know where they're at. That's why I lied. That's why I ride with like. Like McLovin, we're similar-ish. Off-road, he's way better than me on the street. Yeah, you know, Duck Fan and I are about the same place. I know that Beers is a little bit better than me on the trails. But, and Nathan too. Nathan's way better than me, but I trust him. He, like, understands my ability and doesn't try to push things. Daryl, if you want stickers, you can have as many stickers as you want, dude. You don't have to enter. <laughs> I will 100% give you... Any sticker you want, dude. You paid for it in beers easily. What is that noise? 
I wonder if my wife's doing crafting upstairs. That or my dog is snoring. Have Karen sign Daryl for the ride. Yeah, I got, uh, yeah, you, do, you can't use my code to sign up for the ride, sadly. But uh, I got to talk to my people. I have people. I have several people. All right, uh, let's let's draw a winner for some stikers, and the winner of the sticker pack is Derek Bender. Great last name, one of my favorite characters ever. Uh, email me dork at dorkintheroad.com. Need your physical address. Don't care where you live. International shipping is included, and I will send you a big fat sticker pack <sighs> with so many stickers, dude. It's about winning, he says. That's so nice, Daryl. You're a rock star. Yeah, it's a good point, Garrick. It is really nice to camp in the winter because all the good spots are available. Although, they are sometimes under snow. I don't know what that is. It's very regular and like... So it's either an animal snoring... Or my wife is upstairs. She makes uh, clay earrings, and so she has to like sand them down. That could be what it is. I don't know. I'll just talk more. Yeah, I like to. Everyone gives me stickers, so I put them in. Like, I don't. You know, if you when you get a sticker pack from me, I want you to be excited about what you won. Not like, oh look, a sticker. I want it to be like, holy shit, what do I do with all these stickers? My buddy Justin made the mistake of being like, hey, do you have any extra stickers? And I sent him a, like a, a freaking, like a five by eight envelope full of all the extra stickers I'd accumulated over the years. His mind was blown. He wanted to sticker bomb his DRZ. So I was like, I can help with that. Lots of people have sent me stickers over the years. Can you guys hear that? This mic is really good. Like, it's very sensitive. It's why I actually, no shit, turn off all the heat in the house. Because the furnace is right there, and that's all you'd hear. You can probably hear the fan on my computer, even. That's why I switched to the better one, because it's not as loud as my other computer is out here. <clears throat> yeah, minus two is a little cold. I don't really like to, to camp. Around freezing is about my limit. I do, yeah, obviously I own these. They're here, man. Yeah, I have one of each size. Honestly, I have, I think at this point, I have everything that Giant Loop makes because I need it so that I can make, um, I can make product videos for everything. So, there you go. Now, I'm wondering, you're not committing, you're not committing stolen valor. You're not saying that you're a veteran. You're supporting the cause, right? Their their cause is great. They take veterans out on riding adventures to, to give them a chance to reconnect with the camaraderie that they experienced in the military, right? And so wearing a sticker that supports that organ or putting up a sticker that supports that organization is you supporting the uh, the cause. It's not you claiming to be one of those people. Not at all, dude. Can I put the stickers in the Giant Loop sticker bag? I wouldn't put them in the Giant Loop bag. I'm gonna ask my wife what she's doing. What do I put in my personal armadillo bags? Gasoline. I'm gonna ask my wife what she's doing. I wanna know what that noise is. Cause my dog is loud, snorer, but like, not that loud. And I know he's on the couch. <clears throat> yeah, Wandering Turtle, that's what it's about. So, support the cause, dude. Like, and those guys will be at Giant Loop. Um, it's a great organization. They do great stuff. So, and they get out and ride some cool stuff. And all the guys I met are awesome. They all had mohawks and gave me beers. So, uh, they're cool. They're cool guys, but in my book. I'm okay at freezing as long as I'm my four-season trailer in a tent. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I... It, 32, if it gets, 32 is about where I'm like, okay, I can handle that. Um, below that, 
I start to think about not camping, honestly. And I know some of you go way harder than that. I don't really have gear for it. I, I have a zero degree bag, but that bag is only comfortable to about freezing, in my experience. Like, I want to be warm, not just surviving. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't put whiskey in the bags. They would have a nasty... The whiskey would taste bad. Awesome, Derek. Thanks for emailing. Uh, I would like to get a hot tent set up. I've seen people do it on motorcycles. But the thing with that is you've got to ride into the snow. Maybe I need to trim my nose hairs? That could be it, yeah. Uh, I think the flask is rad. I don't know how practical it is. But uh, Data's in here. He's the one that gave it to me. Check it. Drunk hunt. I think it's literally plastic. The problem is it's a little bit... You have to drink out of that hole. Like, that's not... I'm supposed to put my whole mouth over it? Or how does that work? I don't know. The problem is... This is, it's just a rubber stopper. I don't know how leak proof it is in uh, like in a tank bag or something, but uh, it's a cool thing to have around the house. Look, 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 look. Delta Bravo, great question. Okay, are you guys okay with a little vertigo? If you're okay with a little vertigo, I will show you what my lights look like. If you're not, I will not. Um, but funny story, I was camping in the woods, duh, off my Grom. It was the Grom camping trip. I woke up the next morning and was just laying in bed waiting for it to get a little bit warmer. So I was dicking around on my phone. I had limited service and an ad popped up for some lights. 60 bucks for a light setup. And I was like, ooh, LED lights. I don't have those. Half asleep, you know, mildly hungover. I just ordered them right then. And that's the lights I'm using to this day. Yeah, my wife is drilling upstairs. That's what it is. Okay, that helps. So she makes like like keychains, like she made those dork in the road keychains, and she has to drill holes in them to put the keychain things through. <sighs> Hold on, let's text my wife. Okay, I'll show you the lights. I'll show you this one because I don't have to twist it too much. All right, ready? Do you guys know what webcam I'm using? This is my GoPro. It's way better than my shitty old camera. Oh, this is scary. Ugh. Well, my eyes all the way recovered from putting jalapeno juice in it earlier, so that's good. All right, so check this out. That, that is an LED light I'm using, right? And it's on a stand. So these are the ones I use for filming. And then there's another one over here, right there. And in front of me is the screen with all of you on it. Look, screenception. But like all the chat and everything, that's what I'm looking at. Oh man, I got that twisted. Hold on. Whoa. Okay, sorry about the freaking weird vertigo. I don't know what to tell you. You asked for it is what I'm going to tell you. Dude, it's all crooked now. <laughs> that's funny. Let's get the KLR on the shot a little more. We miss her. A uh, couple options for dork keychains. Brewer Auction Service, Indiana, Kentucky. You can go on dorkintheroad.com and order a dork key tag. Or you can get the cool ones that my wife makes on her Etsy shop. And it's etsy.com slash T-A-R-A-L-U-R-A-E. Creator, that's because you're drinking too much, bud. But that's what I'm running. These are New Year, N-E-W-E-E-R, lights, I think, 60 bucks for the two. I've been really happy with them. I like them a lot better than I uh, I had the um, ones that were fluorescent bulbs with the big umbrella reflectors. I don't like those as much. This light's a little harsh, so you got to turn it down. But it's, um, it's a lot more useful, I think, than what I had before. <clears throat> yeah, sorry guys. I told you it was going to be weird. Whoa. It was like this. Icarus knows what's up. Icarus has good taste in musics. I'm texting my wife. Do you have any idea as to when Tusk will have panty racks and crash bars available for the 2022 KLR? Um, 
how do I say this tactfully? Officially, no. Unofficially, very soon. Very soon. They were supposed to have them already. Uh, I mean, unofficially, they were supposed to have them already. I'm not supposed to talk about it. But uh, I'm waiting for them for my KLR. If I thought it was going to be a long time, I wouldn't wait. How about that? That's what I'm putting on the KLR. Are the DRZ and the KLR really worth the price tag? The KLR is. The DRZ is too much new. I would only buy a used one if I were you. How about that? I love my K. I love my DRZ. The most fun bike I've ever ridden. No shit to this day. Uh, but I, I wish all the time. I had a chance to buy a 2012 for forty five hundred dollars and I didn't. I went and bought a new one instead. And uh, what did I pay? Sixty eight hundred dollars. And I love it. But I kind of wish I'd bought. They haven't changed in twenty years, so I kind of wish I'd bought that. Um, that twenty fourteen. It died on me on the test ride. It was one of the reasons I didn't ride it. Or I didn't buy it. 2012 what did I say I don't remember what year it was but um but it died because they didn't hook the petcock back up right the petcock is vacuum actuated it's a whole thing but hey tiger's a great bike what do I miss about my old job I miss working with kids and I miss helping kids achieve their potential and succeed but um I don't miss a lot of other things about it it's very stressful and teaching has just gotten worse over the last two years, so I'm really happy I'm not teaching anymore. And I look at my teacher friends, and I feel really happy that I'm not them, and I feel really bad for them. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to get different tires. I had a little bit of squidginess yesterday. Um, I may put D-Sports on it just because, literally, to be 100% honest... I can get them for free. So uh, I have some on the DRZ. I want to see how they do on the road. And if they feel like they're okay on the road, I may put them on my KLR just because, like I said, I can get them. Nice Delta Bravo. Yeah, Matthew. I went with the Adventure just because there were, there were about four or five things on it. Not that many. I wanted the crash bars and I wanted the chargers. And to do that... Plus, a regular base model was almost as much as the Adventure, so I just got the Adventure. And, you know, I have the advantage of being able to use the cases now, and, uh, and when I decide to take them off, when I get the pannier racks from Tusk, then I will take them off. But uh, I've discovered in the interim that they work with the General Lipsiskiu bags, which I have, so that's what I'll use for camping this summer, assuming I don't have other pannier racks by then. I've heard nothing but great things about the Tractionators. Duck Fan has one on the rear. As WR, he likes it. Yeah, New Year's is a good brand if you're just trying to get some stuff and you're just trying to get started. See, Keith knows what's up. How much of an employee discount do I get on what? On education? It's free. My kid gets to go for free. Good night, Facebook Play. Delicious Corona. Thanks, Daryl. I have more Coors Lights, so don't, you don't have to come bang on the door when this is empty, dude. I can get another one out of the fridge. I haven't even finished my shot yet. I'm trying to take it easy. Although we're two hours in now, so anything after this is just bonus. So if I get stupid, you should have hung up at two hours. That's all I'm saying. What would it be like if I did one of these sober? It would be stupid. See? This is the social anxiety thing again, right? You guys don't believe me, but I'm literally always drunk when I'm streaming. Always. I just realized this is a Mickey Mouse shot glass. That's funny to me. Did you guys stop chatting or did it just stop working? That'd be bad. Did we die? Hold on, here we go. Uh, so I don't hate the stock tires on my KLR, but I don't love them either. Good night, Rabbit.
You're taking it off? What are you going to put on there, McLovin? Critter, you strike me as such a, um, as a, of a calm social dude. Good for you. You hide it well, is all I'm saying. Oh, killer, I don't, I don't pay for giant lip care. I have one of everything because I make their product videos, so I have to have it. And the bonus is I just get to use the shit. So, um, yeah, I don't pay for giant lip care because I have it on hand to make videos for them with it. <sighs> yeah, but it, if I'm being honest, I didn't pay for it before either because I was a um, an ambassador. Thanks, ADV Brain. Like your name. Uh, when will you see me ride the 300L again? Soon, I think. Daryl is, uh, he said it's all broken in, so I just feel bad taking it from him. But I'd like to get out and ride it and do a real detailed comparison to the DRZ at some point. Best place for used bikes right now is um, Facebook Marketplace. Craigslist is dead. They charge now to list bikes, so nobody does. So Facebook Marketplace, um, sometimes certain groups, Facebook groups, people will look, like there's a Pacific Northwest Dual Sport uh, buy, sell, trade group. So if there's one for your area, check that out. What's up, Kevin? I'm drinking a Corona because my neighbor banged on my garage and left it outside. But I'm about to switch back to Coors Light. Um, favorite Giant Loop product? That's a great question. Great question. I guess it depends. I mean, my tank bags are the things I've gotten the most use out of. Like, probably the Diablo tank bag because I've used it the most. But, like, really like my Mojave's for day tripping. Um, love the Round the World panniers. Like, they are awesome dude you can keep put so much gear in those uh that was my favorite thing i've used on my africa twin all right i'm gonna grab another brewski here how about a giveaway while i'm gone yeah do that to entertain the people so they don't leave all right sticker pack i'll be right back what <clears throat> Normally I only do two hours. What do you think? Should we keep going or should we quit? I just kicked the camera. You can totally tell. All right. Let's uh, let's draw a winner. Closing entries. And the winner is Kyle Stafford. It's been like all people with actual names tonight. Kyle Stafford. Please email me at dork at dork in the road .com with your physical address where you live or your P.O. box or whatever. And I will mail you. I almost said email you. That's not how it works. I will mail you an envelope full of stickers. I try, Coney. I try. I gotta bribe people or else no one will hang out with me. It's the story of my life. Can you believe we were over 200 at some point tonight? Remember when we used to do them every week and I was lucky to get to like 70? That's why I stopped doing them every week. Because nobody showed up. Didn't feel like an event anymore, you know? Congrats, Kyle. Congrats. I just got really sad about not getting that Tenere all of a sudden. I was this close, man. I just I just won't pay twelve grand for a bike that retails for ten. For a used one. I just won't. I didn't want it that bad. I have the KLR. You know what'll happen? He's gonna text me tomorrow and be like, I decided to sell it to you and I'm gonna be like 
Guys, secret reveal video for everyone that didn't watch the live stream. <laughs> Good night, Jeff. Favorite Tusk gear. They make freaking everything, dude. They make everything. I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, I'm I'm expecting my my guess is the answer to that will be the tires. I just don't have enough time on them right now. Giant Loop does have a small tank bag. Yeah, they have the buck and roll, which is the tank bag for people that don't like tank bags. There's one of my DRZ right now. It's badass, and it's only 100 bucks. It's great. It's perfect size for your phone, wallet, keys, that stuff. Um, and that plus a, a zigzag bag, and you're good. Like, you're covered. Oh, and... If you go to the Giant Loop ride, you're getting a free zigzag bag. A custom zigzag bag that you can only get from the ride. It's purple. Looks cool. David, maybe. Um, I mean, SoCal is about a 14-hour drive, so I would maybe do it for a good deal. I would do it for if I could get one for close to retail. And, and put it in my truck and bring it home. Maybe. Yeah. I would consider it. Definitely email me. Nah, Matthew, it's supply. It's some supply chain issue. There's some part they just can't get. There just aren't any of them. Like, they would be selling like hotcakes if they could get them onto dealer floors. But, like, my dealer here in here nearby in Sublimity is the biggest Kawasaki and Yamaha dealer in the country. And the dude told me they were getting two Tenere's this year. Do you deal with sleeping bag condensation, condensation during the colder months? Yes, but I just store mine in the mesh bag so it dries out when I get home. Damn, tons of bees. Next time that happens, call me and I'll go buy it. Yeah, McLovin, are you ready? It's been almost a year since we bought the we went on the road trip for the Grom, dude. No shit, Brick. Okay, I might do that. Oh, Icarus, good question. I don't know enough about Alaska to say that, to say. I mean, I would like to ride through Alaska and, like, Prudhoe Bay is what we talk about. Like, trying to get all the way up there. Uh, Duck Fan in particular is like, I want to ride to Prudhoe Bay. David, the caveat is I don't want to pay more than $11,000 for one. I, I just refuse to pay scalper prices for a motorcycle. I just do. I don't need it that bad. I don't need to pay more than it's worth. It's too bad, true seeker, that the border's not open because you could come down here to Sublimity. They have literally 12 KLRs right now, dude. Like, that would be worth the drive. It's only like six hours. I mean, depending on where you are in BC. But if you were like in Vancouver, it's like six hours for you. Do you need the KLR? Does the KLR need suspension or other upgrades? Uh, depends on your definition of big guy. I feel fine on it. You, I mean, you you can bottom out the suspension, sure, but the KLR is not a bike that's designed to be red, ridden like hard enduro, right? You're going to be bombing down gravel roads and some light single track and stuff like that, um, and it's fine for that. Kevin, have I ridden the Tiger 900? Yeah, dude, I did a test ride video. I love that bike. That's the literally the best test ride I've ever been on because... It was at the Touratech rally. It was me, Beards, and two other guys. And the, the guy leading the ride looks at us and goes, You guys seem like you know what you're doing. And just took ass, took up, no, farts, I've been drinking. Took off hauling ass up a gr like this gravel road. And we just like were hauling ass to keep up with him. Best test ride, off-road ride I've ever had. It was awesome, dude. Go check the video. We had a great time. We had a great time. Oh, you're in Vancouver, dude? Once the border opens, just come. Literally, you should drive down here. No sales tax, no freight and setup, and they have as many KLRs as you could possibly want. It is totally worth the ride. I will, it, like, talk to my boy Matt Williams, tell him that Dork in the Road sent you, and just freaking buy one. Is the border open now? Oh, you got one. Okay, I'll shut the hell up then. Yeah, I need a Honda 650, 750, something. 
Africa Twin 750 850 that's a that's a must buy for me. I don't care if it's a little heavier and a little slower cuz it's a Honda. A little heavier than the other midweight. I don't it doesn't need to be as heavy as an Africa Twin. Otherwise I'd just buy one of those. <sighs> I hope they do, Mad Max. I don't. I've seen nothing but rumors. I haven't seen anything remote, remotely. Jeez, this is kicking in. Remotely concrete. What didn't you like about the Beta Three Hundred and Ninety? Uh, the price and the maintenance intervals. And I don't know about Beta's reliability. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying I don't know. Like, people like to be like when I say I don't know that I'm saying it sucks. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't know. I know it's not Japanese, but I don't put on a, on that bike. I wouldn't put a ton of miles on it anyway. I would ride it like I do my DRZ. You know, I don't ride on the road much. Um, my DRZ's got less than two thousand miles on it in two years, so it probably wouldn't be a huge deal anyway. Awesome, Davy. Welcome. Same Mob City. I'm there. I'm there. I'm so there. Anybody still in here who's got a YouTube channel? Go subscribe to Mob City. Creators here. McLovin. No, Bri Byron, I don't think so. The, in, the 750X is a completely different animal. That is a street bike through and through. That is an adventure tour. Right, and we want a true adventure bike. Different animal. But there are only two segments of the motorcycle industry that are growing right now, and that is adventure and dual sport. So Honda would be stupid to not get in on... The midweight dual, the midweight adventure bike. Good night, Garrick. Have fun camping, dude. Damn, David. Yeah. Well, yeah. If if it was a good deal, I would for sure drive to Southern California. Load that shit in the back of my truck and drive it home. The thing is, it cost me five hundred bucks to get down there and back in gas. <laughs> but it'd be worth it for, for the right bike. <sighs> Cowie does need to come out with a, a true Tenere competitor. The KLR isn't it. And I, the people that say it is are kidding themselves. The KLR is a big dual sport. There's a lot to, uh, to recommend it. It's kind of unique in that it's a big fared dual sport. Big fairings. It's not like the 650 or 650 or anything, but it's not the same as the... Freaking tenery. Uh What up, Badger? Can I recap the last two hours? Yeah. Uh, drink, drink, drink. Daryl banged on the, the wall a few times. I gave away a gas bag and a fork stem mount. Um, bitched about the Star Wars prequels. Drank more. Uh, talked about how I almost bought a Tenere this week but didn't. And uh, then I was bitching about how I don't like non-Japanese bikes. And we hit 200 viewers and now I'm here. And David's trying to get me a Tenere in uh, California. Those of you that have been here the whole time, how accurate was that? Pretty good, or did I miss anything? Damn, we're down to 115. People just drop off when you give away the big thing you were giving away. KLR is what it is. You gotta know what you're getting yourself into. And I'm okay with it. I've done dumb shit on the KLR that I would never have tried on my Africa Twin, because I... I just care about it a lot less. That's a weird way of saying I just I think I can do whatever I need to do on it and it's a dual sport. I treat it like a dual sport. I don't treat it like I would an adventure bike. Oh, and I gave away a shit ton of stickers. And I'm not done yet. KLR is average at everything, not greater than anything. Just like me as a rider. Oh, and it hurt my butt. Thank you, cow dog. Thank you, McLovin. You weren't here the whole time, but I still trust you. Yeah, I'd like to see them turn the Versus into a real adventure bike. <laughs> Good night, Critter. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Where I'd ride an Indian built bike. Oh, the Himalayan. I did say I would ride a Himalayan for the price. 
Oh, and Daryl's coming to the Giant Loop ride, I think. He, he hasn't been on in a while, so he better be there. If you haven't signed up for Giant Loop yet, you better do it in the next couple days. What are your thoughts on the BMW 1250? It's huge, dude. I need to ride one, but looking at it, it seems unwieldy and massive. Um, I'd like to ride one. Try it. Kevin, you have you are a gentleman and a scholar, and I appreciate that. Um, I will say that the the BMW dealership in Portland is going to let me come in and test ride their demo bikes. I just haven't done it yet because it's winter, and I want to make sure for sure it's going to be a nice day when I go up there. But I should get a chance to ride a big BMW sometime soon. <laughs> Excuse me, I burped. Um, did I talk about the Versus? Not really. I had a 650 for a while, but that's a street bike. Um, I like the 300 a lot. I did a, a test ride video. You should check that out if you haven't. Hold on, I'm getting messages. Uh, it's from Critter. Thanks, Critter. Oh, shit. I just closed something. I don't know what it was. I have no idea what I just closed. Cool. Don't you hate that? When you swipe away a notification and then it turns out that was not the notification that you were trying to swipe away. I think it's emails. It has to. It has to be. It has to be lighter than it looks, right? It has to ride lighter than it looks. There's no way it doesn't. And that's why I say I want to ride it. I don't want to pass judgment until I have. It just seems like a big ass bike. Giant Loop is first weekend in June. No, I mean, there's a reason why the 1250, the 1200 is so popular and have been for so long. Like, there's something there. I just haven't ridden it, so I don't know. I like the 300. I thought that's the bike I'll recommend to people that want to ride an adventure bike and get started. They're still back there, dude. You can literally see them right here. There's th there's two high west bottles right there, two of them, and then that's the vodka bottle that uh, that Soils Man gave me at the Giant Loop ride, and that is a bottle of Smirnoff that I have for some reason. <clears throat> there's lots of Indian. You can't talk shit about Indian built bikes unless you're ready to talk shit about KTM too. And the 310 GS. It is a budget throwaway, not throwaway, disposable. It's something you'll use up. That's how I feel like the Himalayan. I mean, if you go to Nepal and ride the Himalayas with a touring company, like Brett Tax just did, like Giant Loop sending a bunch of people, they ride Himalayans. That's something. That tells you something. That's all I'm saying. I think they'll do it. I think they're simple, and uh, I would like to ride one. I I have. You'll notice that I don't. Not many Japanese bikes make it into my, or not many non-Japanese bikes make it into my recommendation videos. But I have recommended the, um, the Himalayan more than once. Everyone shift the camera angle. Mobile feed is Stormtroop crotch focused. He's barely in the. Freaking camera, dude. I'm like right in the center. The KLR's here. I don't know, man. I think you're obsessed with crotches if that's what you're seeing right now. Because there's half a cod piece in this shot right now. And it is way on the edge, dude. Are Indian built worse than China bikes? Great question. I honestly have no idea. There's a reason why I only buy Japanese bikes. Because I'm a shitty mechanic. So I buy bikes that I don't think will break down. <laughs> so I don't have to deal with it. Got a KLR and a 230. I personally believe the perfect motorcycle setup is a dual sport and an adventure bike. I had to explain to my wife why I needed it one I needed one of each when they both go off road. But one is for long distance touring. One is like I want to ride somewhere really far away and then ride off road. And the other one's for I just want to hit some trails. I want to do something close by. I want to truck it out there. So you need one of each. <laughs> I take your word for it, Riley. I've only got the one camera angle, dude. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. 
I'm doing what I can. I can't believe we're over time. It's like in this sort of extra long show and we still have 124 viewers more than I ever had. Like at peak of my early live streams. That's so cool. You guys are cool. If you wrote a Ducati, I think you'll like the Africa Twin. But you'll be disappointed because it's way slower. I know that Multistrada is a pretty snappy bike. Eleven hundred. I'd ride that. I really like the new ATs. I mean, I don't want to spend the money. I think they've crept up in price in a way that I don't like because I want something more bare bones and inexpensive. I, I think ten thousand dollars is a sweet spot for me. And I I even hate spending that much on a motorcycle to be honest. I don't think I bought a car that cost more than ten thousand dollars until my first Tacoma. Yeah, like I was seriously 30 plus years old the first time I bought a car that cost more than $10,000. In college, I drove a $2,000 Honda Accord. Like, and I went to college when I was 27 the second time. So, it's just a lot of money I feel like to spend is all. Thanks, girl and her dog. How long have I been live streaming? Tonight, two hours and 21 minutes. Total, I think we started about a year and a half ago. Um, I have tested a V-Strom, almost bought one, but I bought my Africa Twin instead. Any interest in the Desert X if it's under $15,000? No, I would not buy a Ducati. I would not buy it because they're, Ducatis are not for people like me. I don't need the extra performance. I don't want to deal with the extra maintenance, and I don't want to deal with the extra costs. It, reliability, inconsistent, but those bikes are for people like KTMs. That want maximum performance. And I just don't possess the skills to squeeze maximum performance. I'm quite happy with 70% performance and you know 10% maintenance. Personally. Personally. Like, some people want maximum performance and they're willing to pay for it. I get it. And on some things, I'm totally that. Like, I just spent, I bought a freaking $300 plus dollar tent. Because it packs down a little smaller. That costs more money. But... It's I'm just not on bikes. It's just not me. My first Tacoma was a 2002, I think. I bought it used, though, in about 2010, maybe? And then I had a 2015, and then now I have a 2018 Tundra. I think I'd like a 692. I'd rather have a 701, because, again, I have this weird mental thing where I don't like KTMs, but Huskies are fine. Brian, ever considered an XR? Yes, I talk about buying an XR400 as a trail bike all the time. You can't plate them in Oregon, sadly. Because if you could, I would be even more likely to have one. But, as if I was going to buy a trail bike tomorrow, XR400 would be very high on my list. Trials bike would be fun. I'd like to dick around on a trials bike. I weigh more than a trials bike, though. Good night, cow dog. Canine feline little cow dog. It's a different song, but you guys get it. 650L is too tall. No, that's not true. I used to think it was too tall for me. Now I'm not so sure. I want to test ride one. That's an old ass bike, though. Well, Ryan, you know better than anyone how much the performance is on a KLR. Davey. Yeah, I wish the no the Norden was a little bit cheaper. If it was like $12,000, I'd consider it. How much do those weigh? They're still pushing 500 pounds, right? I'm going to look it up. You guys are going to tell me, but it's going to be like in 20 minutes when it comes through. I'm not uninterested in the Norden, honestly. Because I like Huskies. I don't know why. I just do. Um, 450 pounds without fuel. So wet, it's about 480 pounds. Which is only 20 pounds lighter than my KLR. Or my DRZ was. And it's about 30 pounds heavier than my KLR. No. 20 pounds heavier than my KLR. Good night, Daryl. See you at the Giant Loop ride, bud. Everyone tell Daryl to go to the Giant Loop ride. Thanks for the beers, man. Thanks for the tip. Uh, 
Excuse me. I know you did, Ryan. That was a well-loved motorcycle. But you were... You're a rider that needs a better motorcycle. You need more performance. You're a good enough rider to appreciate the difference, for sure. So I'm honestly surprised you hung on to your KLR as long as you did. I have heated grips on my KLR. Highly recommend. I got the Oxfords. Wasn't too bad of an install. Good night, CE. I know it's late for some of y'all, especially y'all on the East Coast. I just like to have dinner with my family and stuff, so can't start any earlier. <laughs> nice, Kevin. You gotta have priorities, you know. Do your thing. Three eighteen. That's a good. That's what my DRZ weighs, dude. That's why I like this this uh, XT two twenty five. Two hundred forty pounds. That's that is a light bike. That is a throw it around bike. Oh man, that fart pillin was fun. I liked it. But it's not an off-road bike. It's not even a scrambler. It's just, that's all style. It's not substance. Rally's a great bike. Nice BC. Put them on. Those things are game changers. I used to think they were like for wussies, but... Then I got them, and I am I changed my mind, dude. They're rad. <laughs> like, and then if you throw some hippo hands on there, I can ride in almost any temperature now, because your hands freaking go numb. You need them. Yeah, that 225, I'm going to ride it more than she does, to be honest with you. I was pretty stoked. I got it for a great price. And I want to go trail riding on it, but all my friends got rid of their trail bikes. McLovin. I'll have to go with Duck Fan, I guess. Or by myself. Go out and ride some single track at Shotgun Creek. <sighs> yeah, Ryan can wheelie a KLR. That's like that's a huge accomplishment. A huge accomplishment. I can barely wheelie my DRZ. In fact, I don't I have not done it since that video with my brother. The same day he crashed into that rock. Night, Coney. Climb Butte is fabulous, but it's so cold right now, dude. What is it during the day? Like 40 degrees? Uh, haven't put new tires in the 225 yet, but I have a set of D Sports, just haven't put them on yet. Good night, McLovin. Uh, what moto boots am I rocking? Alpine Stars Corazals. They've held up incredibly well over two years. I highly recommend them. Fart smelling? No, you figure it out. Beers does have a DRZ. Trails only, but he it's a 400E. It was 50 yesterday. That's not bad. That's not bad. I love Klein, dude. I love Klein. Once I got kind of used to sand, because um, the technical stuff, I like that. So if you like technical rocky sand, which some people don't, Klein is heaven, dude. It's a great spot to ride. and so much stuff out there. Every time I go, I find something new. I want to go camp, but like it's like 24 degrees at night, and my trailer's mildly insulated. Just the roof. Yeah, SoCal is the mecca if you want to ride in the winter, for sure. That's where it's at. I was riding yesterday in 50 degrees. It felt like heaven compared to how it's been. Get 50 degrees and not raining, you go ride in the winter here in Oregon. Or at least in the valley. Hoo -ah. Piss shiver. Moab. Hell yeah, dude. I've never been there, but I hear it's awesome. I hear you don't want to go in the summer. I would like to go. Next year, I gotta get my shit figured out. Because I would like to spend the winter driving my trailer to places at more southerly latitudes. And just riding. Nothing crazy. Like, I don't need to do crazy ass trails. I just want to go like... 
explore the forest and camp somewhere where it's a little warmer. You know, like, I need you guys to help me find places in, like, Arizona, New Mexico, California that is decent in the winter. Supposedly the SoCal BDR is rideable right now. Um, which I would consider, but I would rather do it on my DRZ. Uh, I don't really have the setup to... I don't know. I need to figure out my DRZ setup. Yeah, two-wheeled. That just seems like a lot of drilling holes and mounting things. And I'm not good at building stuff. Well, if it's Advanced Rider recommended, Jonathan, I definitely haven't done it. I think the Belize, if you have to wear them, are probably fine, but I like the taller ones because my shins. I like to keep my shins. Well, I have, dude, I have a, um, I have a Mr. Buddy heater for my trailer, just carbon monoxide is a concern, but with my roof end open, it's not too bad. Tire change. I bought the Baja No Pinch, and I haven't used it yet. But it's supposed to be rad. But I paid somebody to put these D-Sports on because that the sidewall does not flex. So I really hope I never have to freaking do a roadside tire change on that. Because I'm probably effed. But I don't, you know, the DRZ is like my trail riding, dicking around in the woods bike. So worst case, I would just ride out on a flat and put it in the truck or whatever and go home. Or have somebody bring me the truck. It, it, I'm rarely in a situation where I need a tire change to get to continue on my adventure on the DRZ. Dude, I got the crotch out of the picture for you. You're welcome. When is Giant Loop doing another? They just did a garage sale like a couple months ago, so I don't know. They usually do it in the spring. Bro, I was in Vegas a few weeks ago. I need to go back. Harold and I spent the whole time like sad because we were in Vegas and knowing there's so much gorgeous riding around and not able to do any of it. Um, I have not done Pine Hollow White River on Mount Hood. Should I do that? Should we do a giveaway right now? What do you, do you guys think? Want some stickers? Okay, fuck it. There you go. Exclamation point enter while I pee. I haven't used it yet, Jonathan, but I've... Um, Backcount... No. Yeah. Backcountry Adventure Motorsports. Kyle, that guy highly recommends it, and I trust his opinion. That's why I bought one. I'll be right back. Um, is it going? Yeah, exclamation point enter if you want to win some stickers. We'll be right back. Guys entering to win some stickers. Holy shit. Yeah you are. Yeah you are. You guys are doing it. You guys are doing it. Ding. Good for you. Uh these are fat sticker packs lately. I got a lot of stickers to give away. For sure. You know, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot. Alright, closing entries. The winner of the sticker pack is... Mob City Moto. My man. Congratulations. Email me at dork at dork the road com. Give me your physical address. And I will send you some stickers, bro. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, the no pinch is, where, is uh, supposed to be great. So, I'm glad I bought it. 
Yes, Kevin, but it's a dork in the road with an A. Dork in the road is somebody that made an account five years ago where they unbox toys. Um, so on Instagram, I'm a dork in the road with an A. If she ever gives up that account, I'll probably try to grab it, but... Ken? What up? Ah, yeah, dude. How was the rest of your Vegas trip, Mob City? Did you get some good footy? Oh, just got like, like a wave of like... So what happens when you're talking for like two and a half hours straight? Keep doing giveaways until I win. You guys know you can buy stickers on the um, on my website, right? Like, uh, by all means, keep hanging out until you win. But you can definitely buy stickers if you want them on the website. Just throwing it out there. Dorkintheroad.com. You can buy stickers. And you you when you buy stickers, you definitely get stickers. They are they one hundred percent guaranteed to arrive. I promise. Flash out. Flash out. Also, five dollar patrons get sticker packs. Five dollars and up. So if you become a five dollar patron, you get a sticker pack for sure. And uh, you know, you get early access to videos, you get uh, your name in the credits. When I do a longer video, I don't do them on the shorter vids, but on the camping vids, I try to throw that in. So, you know, that's a thing. I don't disagree with you, Desert Dave. You're not wrong. Free is better. Uh, but, if y'all haven't, consider being a channel, me uh, channel member or a patron. Channel members get the green usernames, like Kevin there. Get early access to vids. Patrons get early access to vids, but they don't get green names. David, you're going to order stickers from Razor Pros? Like, have some made by them? Um, you can, or... Ryan, are you still in here? Because, uh... I don't remember his new username, it's weird. But Ryan's in here. Razor Pros Ryan is in here. You could message him on Facebook. You could message Crystal. It's at custom number two, letter U. Uh, K-U-S-T-O-M-T-U on Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't know how else you get a hold of him. Yeah, you know what, David? If you send me an email tomorrow when I'm sober... I can ask him for you if he's not still here. I thought he was here a minute ago, but uh, I could message him for you. <sighs> Their prices are real good. For sure. Crystal does good work. Good night, Jonathan. Is it weirdly quiet in here? Or is it just me? Y'all stop chatting. 96 of you are chilling. 96. I never hit 96 back in the day. There's more people now here than I had like at peak. Be you, stay you. Thanks, my ADV. That's Ryan. That's, uh, but I don't see him. He would have responded by now, I feel like, if he was still here. <laughs> Have I considered stripping the KLR back to bones? Bone basic? Why? To sell the parts on it? What's up, Jaffa? What's your next bike going to be? Um, if I could find a Tenere 700, it'd be that, but... Other than that, I don't know, dude. I mean, I just got this KLR like three months ago. Rangers do hit different after six. I've been there. Sorry, Ranier's hit different after six. I have been there. I have a bottle of 1792 on the shelf over there. Good stuff. Not much left in it. Never been in the Appalachians. Thanks, Desert Dave. I do my best. Uh, thanks, Lee. Have a good night. Kevin, welcome back. 
Had someone in Fiverr that they didn't understand your direction. That's stupid. Critter's back! Critter, back from the dead! What's up, Critter? Cheers, bro. Are you drinking a Canadian tonight? Bone basic. Well, it's not. I haven't done anything to change the performance of the bike at all. I haven't done suspension or anything. So, and I test rode it when it was basic as hell. So, I don't feel like it's that different. Any regrets? Not even a single letter, Brian. Not even a single letter. Nice, nice scooter. Nah, I don't regret the KLR. I'm enjoying it. It's a different animal than the deer, than the African Twin for sure. Very different animal. But it is just... It just does the thing, you know? Does it in a different way. It's a little bit more work a day, less stylish, but... It just does the thing, dude. Jaffa or Yaffa? I don't know, dude. Fireball? Damn, Critter. Are you out by your fire pit or what are you doing right now? Jaffa or Yaffa? I don't know what you're talking about. Am I drunk? Yes. Yes, I am. Slightly. I will drink water before I go to bed. That is that is your answer to whether or not I'm drunk. Critter, I like your silver badge, dude. Well done. Well done. Some of y'all about to hit that gold badge. That ain't nothing. The badge, you see the little dork in the road symbol by Critter's name? It changes colors the longer you've been a member. So, silver I think is six months, and then a year you hit, you get gold. Well sharpened lawnmower, love it. Favorite DOT rated off-road tire? Uh, I really like my Trackmasters. I very much enjoyed the Trackmasters a lot. Uh, I'm excited about the D Sports I have on the DRZ now. I'm excited to try those out. But of the ones I've used, I like the Trackmasters a ton. Great traction. They handle perf They handle very well on the road. Their Achilles heel is they don't last this long. But I put 1,500 miles on them. And I just gave them away today with half traction on the rear. Travel plans for the summer. I definitely want to ride a BDR. Probably the Wobder. We'll see. I don't have any concrete plans. Critter, when are you coming down to ride the Wobder with me? We could meet at the north end, ride south, and then you could ride home. Um, beyond that, not a ton. The Oregon BDR, the Oregon unofficial BDR is so weird that I don't know if I can count on being able to ride it. But I hear rumor they're going to put together some sort of uh, shorter like loops that it would be neat to get out and ride. I agree, Kevin. It's been great. Worst bike I've ever ridden. That's a great question. I was not impressed by the 390, the KLR 390 Adventure. And as many people pointed out to me, it's rev limited until it's broken in. So, you know, my opinion was skewed. I don't think I got the real. But I didn't love it. Um, I don't know. Anytime I ride a cruiser, I rode that like Victory Vegas. I didn't love that. I didn't like the riding position. I didn't like the big front wheel. That was hard to ride. Um... Foot pigs. I've got the IMS Super Stocks on my bike, on my KLR. I did a video, my first KLR mod, mods video. It's got all my mods, including the foot pegs. They were a bitch to be put on. To put on, I had to use a a vice grip and a hammer. Michael, friend who might be interested in selling his T7. If you're interested, I'm very interested. Um, I don't want to pay more than $11,000 for a T7. I would rather pay $10,000 for a T7. If he's in that range, you should email me, Michael. If you're local, I'm not going to like drive to Wisconsin, but if you're around here. All of June, Critter? Shit. Well, that's the month for the Wobder because after that, the fires start. So I don't know what the hell I said, Mad Max. <sighs> my cats, which one? I have four cats, dude. Four cats. Egon, Lando, Ray, and uh, Poe. Critter, we should talk, dude. 
We could ride. We could maybe ride the the Washington BDR the last week of May on your way down, or do you want to come do Giant Loop and then go back? And we could. Well, if you did Giant Loop, we could ride it south to north the week after, then come back for the the Pacific Northwest Dual Sport Opener, summer opener. Theoretically, that's a lot of riding in June, but if you don't do the Wobder early, it gets closed by fires. I don't know. Oh, we should talk, dude. Talk to me when I'm sober. Yeah, bro. I would be so mad at you on that 250, how much easier you'll have it <laughs> than me trying to do it on my KLR, but... Even late May, Brian? Like... Memorial Day weekend, you can't ride it. What about the second week in June? Thanks, Roman. Welcome. Whew. Still enjoying this whiskey that appeared outside my door at the beginning of the live stream. Thanks, uh, Daryl, who's not here anymore. My neighbor Daryl's a rock star, dude. Let's me ride his 300, brings me booze. Seriously, Michael, I would love that, dude. If you, if, if he's selling it for a reasonable price, I am 100% serious. I would buy one like this week, I, you know, and I'm willing to give him a little money to hold it. I got to get a loan for the rest, but I mean, I make videos for a living, dude. I'm not like a flake. Like I, if I say I'm going to buy a bike, I'm going to buy the thing. So I would love to buy one if you know somebody. If you're that local, is it the same guy I was talking to? Um, hold on. Is his name Paul? Because <laughs> that's the guy that I've been talking to that decided, I think, to sell it to someone else. Haven't heard anything. Uh, True Seeker from BC. It's the first weekend in June. Riley, I would love to talk about teaching, dude, but it is a hell of a time to be getting in. Um, I admire your girlfriend for wanting to start teaching right now. Ten years ago, I thought it was a terrible time to be getting in when I got in. And it is so much worse now, dude. The good news is there are plenty of jobs. She can work anywhere she wants because I know a lot of people that are getting out. Um, I got out, you know, and I have a lot of colleagues that are getting out. It is, it is really hard to be a teacher right now. So, yeah, kudos to her. Like, no shit. It's going to be rough, dude. The first... The first three years are the hardest, and she's entering her first three years in the hardest time to be a teacher that there may have ever been. So, support her. That's all I'm saying, dude. Support her. Have the fires inhibited my writing plans? Yeah. Um, yeah, like when I did the, uh, the Route 6 last year, we had to route around it. We ended up adding a bunch of extra writing because there was a big-ass fire in our way. Half the nation is snowed in. I'll take what I can get, dude. I'm hey, whatever it takes to get people in, I'm down. I actually got out riding yesterday for the first time in a month. That felt so good. I went out, explored a little, filmed a video about gravel riding techniques, um, some tips for gravel riding, and then I went and just plopped my chair and my table down and made some coffee and just hung out in the woods and just sort of soaked it in. Like it's been too long since I've been able to camp. Just stupid because like I camped in literally the first weekend in December, but it just I just love it so much. Um, some of you know that we're here earlier, but I you know I hurt my ass, I bust, I bruised my tailbone, so I I wasn't able to ride at all um, until yesterday since Christmas. So like all of January I didn't ride, and that sucked. So yesterday I got out, rode, and just chilled in the woods. Like, that video is only like 11 minutes long, but I had two cups of coffee. I just sat there and drank it and then just just soaked it up. It was so great to be back in the woods. It was a great day. Excited to do that again. Pro tip, if you're riding in cold weather, um, a wool base layer on your bottom half. Oh, so comfortable. I wasn't cold at all. There's 92 of you, but you're not chatting much, guys. Now's your chance. Matthew, that's a great question. Um, this backdrop looks so good on camera. 
And it looks like shit in real life. That is a flat picture. Welcome, Truth Seeker, to membership. Enjoy your green username. This is literally a flat picture backdrop that looks like crap up close. But on camera, it totally looks 3D. It is just at like a 12 by 12 backdrop, dude. Yeah, exactly. I bought it on Amazon. It was like 20 some bucks. Badger. Um, did you miss the story? Maybe. Uh, I was in Disneyland for the week after Christmas. It rained, which it never does. They didn't have rugs down. So the bathroom floor was wet from everyone's wet feet. I slipped, fell on my ass. Literally no one else in the bathroom noticed. I got up, went pee, walked back out, and it was like, I think I hurt myself. And um, it wasn't until about a week ago that I started to feel even remotely normal. Uh, and what's crazy is I just built my second custom lightsaber. I had it strapped on my back in the carrying case they give you. And I handed it to my wife and said, hold this while I go pee. And if I hadn't, I would have immediately broken my lightsaber that I just built by falling on it. So it's like a miracle that I handed it to her. So thank God for her. But Good night, Cody. Yeah, I didn't sue Mickey. I didn't even, like, there's, I can't even prove that it happened. I didn't go to the doctor or anything, so. I actually did go to the doctor. I had my annual checkup about two weeks ago, and she was like, yeah, we can't do anything for a tailbone. Just rest and heat. And I was like, that's what I've been doing. She's like, yep. What up, Kevin? What up, Derek? June 15th or 16th? I hope you make it, Jeffro. I would really like to ride the Wobber this year. Just a narrow window before the fires ruin it, you know? You gotta get in after the snow, but before the fires, and it's hard. And it gets worse every year. But the Wagner's the closest one. I don't know if I should tell you guys this, but I was talking to the dude from Zero Motorcycles, the, the electric ones, and I was like... Because they gave a guy a couple bikes to ride the Cobder, the Cal Colorado BDR. Which is awesome. The Cobder? It's not the Cabder, because that's California. Anyway, they did that. And uh, it was awesome. It was cool. And I was like, if you need anyone to ride the Wobder, you let me know. Um, I would totally do it on electric bikes just to see if it's possible. Screw it. I like the 650. Uh, the Versus 650. I just it's not wasn't an off-road bike, and I just wasn't riding on the road much, so I got rid of it, but... I don't know. The 1000 is a big bike. I haven't ridden the Versus 1000. I mean, it's, a, it's an adventure tour. That's not an adventure adventure bike. It isn't. Not to me. Death Valley next month. It's a good month for it. Yeah, David. I wish Custom Sabres weren't so expensive. You're not wrong, Measure. They're expensive as hell. And the technology's not there yet, but it gets better really quickly, I, I think, in a few years. If I had, a, like, a commute, like, if I lived in a city, an electric bike, you know, because, yeah, they're expensive, but you don't pay for oil changes, you don't pay for valve checks, you don't pay for gasoline, right? You make it up pretty quick, but uh, you got to live in a place where you can ride 100 miles or less a day and then plug it in every night. Pride Wobber to Tour Tech. Yeah. Good night, Rusty. Mileage range on the off road zero. Uh, he told me it's like 180 to 200 miles at gravel road speeds because the damn thing charges itself when you go downhill, first of all. Uh, and if as long as you're not going 70 or 80, you get a lot more mileage out of it. So he said they were getting 180 to 200 miles a day with the big battery. And then they just sort of found like. Like, they would go somewhere to have lunch and chill there for two hours and plug it in. And then ride farther or whatever. Because um, you can get up to 80% supposedly in two to four hours. Again, that's not exact... It, it's not there yet, right? It's not the same as a gas bike. But that it's at least viable. It's doable. If you figure 200 miles a day, and then you just need to stop for four hours at some point and charge it. The BDRs always have... Um, like places where you can stop and get gas, town, stuff like that. It's doable. It's doable. My lightsabers are all upstairs, dude. Otherwise, I would totally show you. 
Hold on. I do have one down here, but it doesn't make noise. It's all the way over there. Fuck it, I'll get it. This is my cheapest one. It doesn't make noise, so you're not going to be that excited. Well, yeah, any bike. You can do forest roads on a freaking fat boy. Like, whatever. Where did I get this one from? One of the shops. This is one of their grab bag sabers. And it just turns red. So it's like, a, this is like a, like a spinning saber, like a super basic, no sound one. Uh, my fancy ones are upstairs, but this one's kind of cool. It's really bright, as you can tell, right? But it doesn't make noise. But you can just buy the electronics package and, and slip it into the hilt. I might do that at some point. <sighs> but I paid like 80 bucks for this, so not even that much. It's really bright, though. Super bright. I like the sort of see-through notches on the on the emitter here. That's cool. But this is a, this is by no means this is not even my third coolest saber. I have four way cooler sabers upstairs. Yeah, I'm a total nerd. It's not just a clever name. Dork in the road is not just a clever name. I am a huge dork. I need to go to Portland and check out Saber Forge. They're literally like an hour away. I don't like the ones that don't make noise, it's not as cool. That's all I'm saying. Wicked turn signal. Legit. Legit. <laughs> Look at this freaking... Ultra Sabers might be where I got that one. Uh, this Mickey Mouse shot glass Daryl left outside. Thanks, Truth Seeker. I try to make it... amusing. You know? Mmm... Pendleton Midnight is a lot a lot better than regular Pendleton. Regular Pendleton is fine. It's fine. It's a fine whiskey. That's that. It's fine. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Oh, you have? <laughs> nice, David. Yeah, this was a grab bag, and you know, super basic, but for the price I paid, it's fine. Everide is my hero, dude. My hero. My inspiration. No worries, Oregon Critter. Davey, thanks for subscribing, dude. Dork MC Austin chapter. Hell yeah. Get it, Dinah Broke. Yeah, Riley. Uh, kudos to her. It's a tough time to get in, is all I'm saying. Nice, Daniel. I made two custom sabers and bought uh, Ray's saber. And uh, I bought the Luke, Return of the Jedi saber, the green saber. Bullets, great shit. Yeah, this is Ultra Sabers. Thanks, Brian. Oh, you're in Sisters? I love Sisters, dude. You know I grew up there, right? You know that uh, I lived there until I was 10 years old. We were in Sisters last weekend? I think last week we were in Clear Lake. Uh, Cab, we didn't talk about video gear much, no. She's got a couple videos on that, though. <sighs> if you got it at Disney, it was the the Legacy Saber, not the, not the Black Series. I thought about buying one. It just looked kind of chintzy, so I didn't get that one. Um, I almost bought the Dooku Saber. That one's cool. I was annoyed they didn't have the Maul double-bladed. I would totally bought the Maul double-bladed. They only had the Maul... Um, Clone Wars Maul one. The single blade. Yeah, I should have bought the fucking... Should have bought that uh, the Dark Saber while I was there. I don't know. Yeah, BDR is different than a forest road, dude. But yeah, I'd pay. Have you ever seen Dos Honduros? Those dudes, uh, they ride gold wings on like crazy forest roads. They take them off motocross jumps and stuff. Go right now to YouTube and look. At, you're on YouTube. Go to outside of this window and look up Dos Honduros. They're, those guys are nuts. They ride them on like 
single track trails and stuff. Kind of crazy. What the hell's going on outside? It's 9.54. People are very loud. I don't know what's happening. Nice, Daniel. Seriously, what is that noise? People are like yelling outside. It's 10 o'clock at night. Nice, David. Those are, uh, those are hardcore. Yeah, Derek. Motocross tracks, even. It's nice when it slows down a little. Later. Easier to keep track. Yeah, I need to... Literally, Saber Forge is in Portland. Like, it would be cool to go up there. I'm just afraid about... I'm afraid of the amount of money I would spend on dumb shit. Uh, I don't have any trips to Alaska planned, Alaskan Archer. The border is not open in Canada, so you can't get up anyway, but... I am going uh, going on a cruise in Alaska, not this next summer, 2023 will be there. 1792 is good, I have a bottle. You guys can hear the train? Damn, that's a good microphone. Can you hear my ankle popping? Hold on. My wife's drilling again. Yeah, Mad Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike. Those guys are cool. They're friends of Giant Loop. They made a, a hour long KLR review. Favorite riding area locally? It's a great question. Um, I really like riding Sandy and Pass area. Uh, but because that's where I uh, that's where I grew up, riding that area above Sweet Home. Favorite off-road Moto GPS? My favorite is Gaia GPS, the app. But I also have a Zumo XT, which is fine. It's fine. I don't, I'm not in love with it. I could take it or leave it at this point. Which sucks, because I spent $400 on it. Thoughts on the H Himalayan? Haven't ridden one yet. Would really like to. But my impression is that it's a decent entry level. Uh, good, uh, good value for the dollar. Um... Hit or miss on reliability. Yeah, South America would be red. Yeah, David, that's why I haven't been there. Because I know I would spend too much money. Dork Mountain is up... Uh, that's up on Sandy and Pass area. Off of Canyon Creek Road. Sudicis is better than Abbey's. I don't like Abbey's. It's really greasy. Are you nearby, Brick? How the hell do you know that? Uh... Dinah, great question. My next bike, if I could buy if I could buy any bike in the world tomorrow, I would buy a Yamaha Tenere 700. Um, beyond that, I don't know. I have toyed with the 450L multiple times. I felt like I was pretty close to wanting one, and then I saw Everide's review, and it convinced me I don't want one after all. So, uh, I rode the 501, the Husky 501 that Giant Loop has. That was a great bike. I just wish there was a Japanese version. I thought the 450L was the Japanese version. And then I, I see these reviews and I go, nah, maybe not. So, I don't know, dude. I don't know. It, T7, if I could find one. Beyond that, I honestly have no idea. Uh, girl and her dog, I haven't, I haven't had one yet. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit to one at this point. It's because that's, you know, that's an hour and a half commitment from this, from here on. And then I gotta, like, my wife doesn't like cigar smells, so I gotta, like, take a shower. <sighs> Abby's does have the pepperonis that, that turn into a cup. Problem is the cups then fill up with grease. And that's weird. This Midnight, this Pendleton Midnight is really sweet. Really sweet. Whoa, what was that? 
another winner. Hell yeah! Awesome, BC. I love unbelievable riding and camping and awesomeness. Did your tailbone injury motivate your appetite the heart attack grow? No. I don't understand how the two are related, but I but I appreciate the question. Um, no, fat guys always clean their plate, so I knew I was going to finish whatever the hell they put in front of me. Oh, you're saying because I didn't want to get spanked. Yeah, that didn't. That was a motivating factor. I mean, I, I knew I was going to finish, but if I wasn't sure, I definitely would have eaten it to avoid getting spanked um, on my tailbone injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. I hear it stalls all the time, and I like to ride slow at low RPMs, so I don't think that would be a great bike to me, which sucks ass, because otherwise it looks great. I want a Honda. I want a Honda DRZ is what I want. Fuel-injected Honda DRZ. The 450L should be it, but it isn't. And then it's ten grand on top of that, and it doesn't even work? Ten grand? That's a lot to spend on a dual sport. Gary, I have not ridden a T7, but I know I would like it if I did. Updates on the 225. Uh, yeah, there's a video coming out actually Monday. But we did the air filter. We went in to replace the air filter and discovered that it was missing. So we had to do that. We did an oil change. I had to replace the drain plug because that we destroyed the drain plug trying to get it off. Because whoever was wrenching on it before tightened everything down way too much. So, uh, we did all that. Um, I lubed up the clutch cable and then I need to do the throttle cable next. Um, but it's doing good. It's in good shape. KLX 300 or 300L. I like the KLX because the front suspension is adjustable. Uh, and 300L feels squishy to me. You know, it just doesn't work for a fatter guy like I am, so... Personally, I would probably go with the KLX 300. I haven't ridden the dual sport model. I'd have to ride it first. But that's my choice. And that hurts me to say as a Honda fanboy. It hurts me to say that. But I the suspension is just squishy AF. And I'm just now spoiled on my DRZ because the suspension is good. So uh, it's hard for me to go back to... A slightly faster version of the bike that I really didn't like riding on trails. It's a good go fast bike. Sucks into you're talking about the 450L. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, I've heard the T7's pretty top heavy. I, that disappoints me because that's why I didn't like about my Africa Twin. I don't know. You know what's gonna happen? I'll buy a T7 and then end up not liking it and just stick with my KLR. That would be the dumbest and most likely thing that might happen. <laughs> Back at a 300 elk. Confirm squishy. Ooh, Dynabro. Good question. This is sacrilege and I can't believe I'm going to say it out loud. But if you were like, do you want the new tenor, do you want the new Tiger 900 or do you want the Africa Twin? I would go with the Tiger because it is lighter. And I really liked, really liked that Tiger test ride I did. Very much liked it. So, that surprises me. I'd never really thought about that. But yeah, I would definitely take the Tiger 900 over the Africa Twin right now. Because the Africa Twin's so heavy. I would have the same issues that I had with my other one. Dude, KLR, as far as value for your dollar, there aren't many bikes that beat it. There just aren't. And if you've ridden one, you know. And if you haven't, you don't believe me. <sighs> Critter, I also want to come up to Vancouver. I would love it if you would show me around the island at some point this summer. We should definitely do that. And I would really like to um, do Olympic Peninsula both together because we can meet halfway I think that would be super fun dude we should do that I have not ridden a 690 or a 701 McLovin has a 690 now so at some point I will ride it 
Well, if you mostly ride street, you don't want an adventure bike anyway. That doesn't make any sense. I mostly ride off-road, which is why I don't want a street bike. It's the flip side of the same coin. Dude, my ankle is so noisy. That's gross. Why the hell are 76 of you watching a drunk guy ramble in his garage right now? What a world we live in, you know? What a world. You can watch a guy that doesn't know shit about motorcycles talk about motorcycles while drinking and rambling in his garage in the middle of winter. And somehow that's a job. What a world the internet is, you know? What a world we live in. God bless all of you for being here. Also drinking. Yeah. Cheers. I got a little whiskey left. Uh, Derek, good question. Whiskey for me, but but if I have to pick whiskey or scotch, it's whiskey. But I like bourbon. Bourbon is my go-to. Because we're drunk, too. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Hell yeah. Do it! Do it! Boggles the mind, Roman. Boggles the mind. That's good, Riley. Good. <laughs> Literally the only people left are all drinking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Love it. Mmm. Oh, whiskey. Matthew, it's not even a question. Of course it's the OT. Of course it's the OT. It's not close. And here's the other thing that's going to blow your mind. I like the sequels more than the prequels. I really do. And the sequels are not good. Like, they're not perfect. I'd, the Last Jedi might be my least favorite Star Wars movie. No, it's not. But it's my third least favorite because Attack of the Clones and uh, uh, Phantom Menace are my least favorite. But, I don't know what the but is. OT reigns supreme. OT reigns supreme. Why is the room gone? Miller Lite, half stormtrooper crotch. I, I, yeah, it's still there. Kentucky, Dave is not drinking. They fell in a hole and found whatever it was. You thought Solo was good. Here's the thing about Solo. I like a lot about Solo. There's a lot of things, honestly. I like Kira. I like a lot of things, but um, two things I hate. One, Chewbacca eats people. What? Chewbacca eats people? And two, it's so funny because everyone complained about Rey being a Mary Sue, right? She has all these skills and no one knows where they came from. Han Solo, inexplicably, with absolutely no explanation or backstory, speaks Wookiee. We don't know why. He's amazing at Sabak, Sabak. We don't know why. Like, he just pulls all these skills out of his ass. It's super frustrating. That movie, ugh, there's so much about it to like, and so much I'm just like, what? What? Why? Ugh. Sorry. You only have $300 to buy gear, what do you get? Depends on what you're doing. If you're going to ride on the street, you got to get something with good slide protection. If you're only riding off-road, get good boots. Ugh. <sighs> You're not here for crotch, David? I'm sorry. Last Jedi broke my heart. Worst movie. They did Luke so dirty in that movie, and it pisses me off. Pisses me off. Three pieces of gear you don't really need, but take camping anyways. Uh, my table, my chair, and my pillow. 
you only keep one bike, what would you keep, the DRZ or the KLR? I'd sell them both and buy a DR650. <laughs> Chewy ate porgs. Yeah. The, Teal, the Last Jedi, no shit, is the probably the most gorgeous, most beautiful, most visually interesting Star Wars movie. That throne room fight scene, I love that scene. It is gorgeous and amazing. Um, it is a beautiful film. The whole crate sequence, absolutely gorgeous. But the choices and the shit that... The whole Canto bite, I could do without any of that. Doesn't make any sense that they can get in a ship and hyperspace away and hyperspace back. It, none of that chase sequence, it makes no goddamn sense. It makes no sense. It's a total like, meh. They didn't know what to do with Finn. Like... Poe commits mutiny, and we're supposed to still like the guy. It just... But then there's the Holdo maneuver. Like, God, what a gorgeous film. But but the character choices just don't make any sense. I just... I struggle with that movie. I struggle with it. <sighs> Hi, HF VidShots. What up? Andro, it was great, but I can't... I don't want to talk about spoilers. I don't want to spoil people. Um, a lot to like. I don't appreciate the choice that was given at the end. Riley, 100%. The only thing I've ever wanted to see... That's not true. One of the things I've always wanted to see is Luke at the height of his powers kicking a whole bunch of ass. And what did we see at the, at the last episode of, uh, of Mandalorian Season 2? Luke at the height of his powers. It was so good. Yeah, Leia, the whole Mary Poppins scene, I, I hate it. Pisses me off so much when I watch it. I'm just like, what am I looking at right now? Worst camping experience? God, I'd have to think about that. There was a time Lil and I went camping and like I forgot to bring the big grill so I only had my little tiny bushcraft grill to cook chicken on for us over the fire and I kept like dropping it into the fire and we could only cook one chicken at a time and the river was so damn loud we couldn't even talk to each other. That was... <laughs> I didn't make a video. That was a weird one. That was a weird trip. That one was rough. I don't know. I'm sure I had worse like when I was younger and we used to just go camping like... Oh, it's 11 o'clock. Let's go camping. And then we went cam camping and slept in the back of my truck. I don't know. I have not watched um, Justified, but I've heard good things. I don't have a picture of my two new tent. I can grab it and show it to you if you want. I haven't set it up yet. I can show you what it looks like, uh, you know, packed up. I'll grab it if you want to see it. Ah. Bro, what are you doing? This tent is smaller than my chair, dude. Whew. Check it. That's it. That's my whole tent. You see my hands for scale? Head for scale? Very small. It's literally the size of a loaf of bread. Whoa, almost dropped it. But that is my new tent. I haven't even taken the tags off yet. But that's what it looks like when you set it up. If that helps. <laughs> I haven't uh, haven't set it up yet. My backyard is a total soggy mess, so I'm going to wait until I actually camp in it to set this up. But I'm pretty stoked on it. Pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. Least favorite video I've published? That's a great question. Um, it's probably one that I've uh, taken off the internet. I, I took... Uh, I set my original, my first video to unlisted because all I do is say the F word like 400 times. And I don't want people to search for Dork in the Road and the first video they get is me cussing all the time. So, uh, that one's pretty bad. But there were stupid ones I made at the beginning when I was still running with this idea that I would write, I would make dorky content on a motorcycle. Like there's one where it's uh, Captain America versus Iron Man. I don't think that one's on, I don't think, I think I've unlisted that one. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this tent's going to be total game changer. It's smaller than my sleeping pad now. Because Motocamp Nerd sent me the biggest freaking sleeping pad they have. 
What pocket knife? I don't use a pocket knife when I'm camping. I have my Mora Bushcraft Black. That's my go-to camping knife. And then I have that Leatherman Signal with a knife on it. So that's what I carry knife-wise for camping. Yeah, Book of Boba Fett was hit or miss until the last two episodes. And it's been amazing. Best 10 that's not 400 bucks. I really like the... My Kelty Gunnison is a great tent. They don't make it anymore. I paid 140 bucks for it. Of course, David. Everyone would be interested in that. Um, so I don't know. It's hard to say because I haven't bought a tent in so long. I don't know what's out there that's any good. Um, you know, I bought this one because it's a slight upgrade over what I had. So it's hard to say. I, I know that Ari, I have to... Wow. I know the REI Half Dome 2 is quite popular. McLovin has one. He likes it. So that's something to consider for a reasonable price. Reasonable price. What do you think, guys? It's about time to get out of here. Let's do another giveaway and then maybe I'll bail. How about that? One more giveaway. One more sticker giveaway. Alright. Because you guys hung out till the end. You guys are rock stars and I appreciate you. Let's do one more giveaway. Exclamation point. Enter. If you want to win some stickers... How are bags coming along for KLR soft bags with Happy Trails rack? I don't have a Happy Trails rack. I only have the Happy Trails center stand. Um, but my stock racks work with the Giant Loop Siskiyou's, so that's what I plan on using. What other stoves have I used? Uh, I haven't used. I have a couple twig stoves. I just haven't used them because my jet boil is so damn convenient. And any other situation where I'd need to use like my firebox stove, I just cook over the fire. So I don't, I haven't used any other types really much. Just watching everybody enter. Good times. So much sticker pack giveaways, yo. So rad, yo. I want to thank all of you for not being trolls. We very rarely have to ban someone. It happens once in a while. I had a real douchey comment earlier today that I had to respond snarkily to. <sighs> I hate douchey comments. Makes me want to stop making videos. It's annoying. Cash bail or Christian bail? Depends on if I'm in prison or not. Haven't used the Whisper Light? I bet it's great. What do you call it when Batman skips church? Christian Bale. Uh -huh. Dad jokes. Camacho, nice dude. Nice. Good shit. Of course, Scudder, I'm here all day. I'm here all night. Derek, that's too many exclamation points, dude. Only one at the beginning. Alright, should we draw a winner? What do you think? You guys ready? Alright, screw it, I'm doing it. Oh, close entries, pick winner. Scott Schaefer. Dude, did you win before? No problem. You can win more than one time. I just recognize that name. Uh, you have to email me at dork at dorkintheroad.com with your physical address. And I will mail you a sticker pack, dude. Congrats on your win. Congrats. Conga rats. Nice Raptor pack. Welcome. Uh, so I'm going to bail, guys. I think I'm done. Three hours and 23 minutes is way more than the two hours we normally do. I want to thank you all for hanging out. It's been really great chatting with you. Thank you to those of you who hung out to the end. Y'all are rock stars. But uh, I got to go pee and drink some water and let my dogs out and do my thing. So thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate you. You guys are rock stars. The water storage? You're probably talking about my Sea to Summit Pack Tap, a.k.a. the green Pacific Northwest Green Manta Ray. That's a good piece of kit. But I'm going to bail out. So good night, guys. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Good night. I gotta find the